Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Kick me out of S.H.I.E.L.D. I destroyed everyone in the Avengers. Chapter 1. The head of S.H.I.E.L.D. is just an old who burns bridges when he crosses rivers. He is not a thing. Lee Zong looked at the scrapped agent certificate in his hand and gritted his teeth. In the early morning, Nick Fury, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., interviewed him and told him that he suffered from war sequelae and was in danger of losing control, and was then, voluntarily, retired. Didn't I just kill a few more scum? Is there still a risk of losing control? Dr. Banner won't lose control. I originally wanted to remind them to be careful about Loki's scheme, but it was all in vain. Lee Zong threw the fragmented agent certificate aside, put the piano case back on his back, and walked along the commercial street of Times Square. What next is to go to New York City and work alone as a mercenary to make money? Or go to Hell's Kitchen and have some fun with the Defenders? He didn't think about it. But there are indeed many differences between New York in the millennium and New York 20 years later. Much older. There are also many black girls. Unappetizing. I really miss the past. Lee Zahn was originally a surfer on the internet. Because of his bravery, he came to the world of integrated comics and embarked on the road to becoming a hero. What man doesn't dream of standing out and being admired? By completing the mission. He received the Crazy Keelan Blood plus Blood Drinking Crazy Knife rewarded by the system and was successfully promoted to a superhero. Although due to his ability, the scene was littered with corpses, bloody and violent, and he was nicknamed the Butcher. But it doesn't matter. In the process of saving people, he met the superhero Black Widow. After several in-depth exchanges with this agent, he also became the listed agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's different to work with a big organization. There are special uniforms and weapons, as well as reconnaissance troops to collect information. After each battle is completed, the Beetle team cleans up the traces, turning superheroes into a well-organized welfare profession. But after Iron Man Tony Stark arrived, this has all changed. The team's focus fell on the playboy. And he was extremely disapproving of Lee Zahn's brutal and crude killing behavior. It was just a small friction at first. But as of a week ago, after the video of Lee Zahn killing a supervillain was exposed to the entire internet, a frenzy of public opinion swept over him. Oh my god, how can there be such a superhero? He is a perverted villain. Twenty lives were all killed by this butcher. Bloody butcher, get out of New York. There seemed to be a pair of invisible hands arranging things in the darkness. Move him to the forefront. Later, he was interviewed by the S.H.I.E.L.D. chief and kicked out of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now playing an emergency announcement. An unidentified explosion occurred near 3rd Avenue in Queens, and a person with super ability was suspected of robbing. Suddenly, a piece of news was played on the big screen in the mall. A 15-second short video was played at the bottom of the video. Through the screen, you could see that the bank door was damaged. A strong white man ran out in a hurry with two boxes of money. Countless sands were flowing under his feet, as if there was something there. Lifelike. Lee Zong glanced twice and stopped. He recognized the man in the video as the supervillain Sandman. At this moment, he should be grabbing money to pay for his daughter's medical expenses. But according to the inertia of the plot, he will be blocked by Spider-Man, causing his success to fail, and his daughter will be killed as a result. But as a father, he just wanted to borrow some money to save his daughter. What's wrong with him? It's all evil capitalism that doesn't give people a way to survive. Why don't you join in the fun? Give those guys who call themselves righteous people some pain. Lee Zahn pondered. Ding, the host's intention has changed and the system has started to upgrade. Upgrade completed. Ding, the villain achievement critical hit doubling system has been started. Ding, a random mission has been detected nearby. Sandman's wish. In order to pay for the medical expenses of his critically ill daughter, Marco escaped from prison and evaded the police. He accidentally fell into a particle accelerator and was affected by radiation. He gained the ability to control sand. After gaining super ability, he also he has not forgotten his original intention, but actively robs to pay for his daughter's medical expenses. However, the evil Spider-Man Peter Parker has repeatedly ruined this good thing. Ding, after accepting this mission, the host needs to help Sandman escape and save his dying daughter in the hospital bed. The reward for this mission will be doubled depending on Marco's gratitude level. Good guy, 
the system helped me, thinking I was helping others. Li Zan took long strides and ran quickly in the city center, especially when he took long strides and flew away in the wind with a floating posture. This was no other trick, it was the wind god kick that came from the wind and clouds. He has already assembled the combination of crazy Kilin blood plus blood drinking crazy knife. There is no reason not to add wind god legs but he just suffers from not having the chance to use it. Who makes Black Widow greet her warmly every time? John, did you see it? Someone is actually flying. No way, you must be drunk. Oh my god, father god, this is true, this is true. Next to the commercial street. The homeless people and pedestrians who were performing stopped their movements and looked into the air, their eyes full of shock. They saw a man carrying a piano case clicking a few times in the air and flying up, as if he had escaped the influence of Newton's gravity. The coffin boards can no longer hold it down. It also benefits from every field trip. Li Zong was not recognized because he was wearing a silver-gray mask. If they knew that the person in front of them was the butcher. I'm not sure what your attitude will be. Maybe he was so scared that he peed on the spot. Third Avenue in Queens is only four kilometers away from this straight line. If I speed up, I will definitely arrive in two minutes. Bully Spider-Man, you have to wait for me. Lee Zon moved forward at full speed. A few streets away, in a dark subway station. Sandman looked nervous while carrying two boxes of money. The station was in front of him, but he did not dare to act rashly. Because the superhero Spider-Man has come after him. Call out. The sound of pulling spider silk was heard. In the blink of an eye, Peter Parker fell in front of him. He is wearing a black spider suit, just like in Spider-Man 3. After being parasitized by the venom of alien creatures, Spider-Man Noir's behavior becomes more and more violent. I saw him ejecting the spider silk and pulling up a big stone and throwing it towards Sandman. Sandman staggered and dodged away from him. However, Spider-Man was faster and took the lead, flying towards him and already kicking him to the stone wall. Two boxes of money were thrown aside in the impact. Two stacks of dollar bills slipped out from the corners of the damaged box. When Sandman saw this scene, he looked fierce and excited. You, why do you always find trouble with me? Don't blame him for that. After all, after Sandman gained ability, he didn't do any evil, and he didn't kill people for fun. I just want some medical money to save my daughter. But that reptile blocked him again and again. This is simply unforgivable. Sandman stepped on the sand pile next to the railway track with his right foot and activated his sand control ability. As countless sands gathered on his body, the arms that were originally flesh and blood began to expand and expand. In the blink of an eye, no less than 10 feet, like a giant hammer, Sandman wielded the huge amounts of sand fist and blasted forward. Punch me, boom. Smoke and dust billowed, mixed with terrifying explosions. A black figure flew out. As Spider-Man Black turned around in the air, he was not injured. Instead, he stretched out his right hand and hooked the iron shed of the station, raised his head and praised. Cool, this punch is no less than ten tons, right? Then come and taste mine. Peter jumped out with his legs and punched Sandman with both fists. Bang, bang. Two super ability people confront each other on this ground. Even if it is not a heavy tank bombardment, it also caused the earth to collapse. Let the dust fly. The aftermath of this fight between gods also caused those passengers who were supposed to take the subway to panic and run towards the exit. Before they leave, Spider-Man Peter has always been on friendly terms with Sandman and has not shown a tendency to crush them. But after the last passenger left, Peter fell from the air, he shrugged, held his head up with his palms, twisted his body, and said with great disdain. That's it, you only have this little ability, and I'm not in the mood to keep making trouble with you. Reptile. Sandman was furious when he heard this. Even though he was an honest man among super criminals, he couldn't bear to be despised. He controlled the sand to transform into a giant and rushed towards Peter. Boom, boom, boom. The ground shook. The stable reinforced concrete platform also had countless cracks, and it was obviously overwhelmed. And this giant sandman takes it in stride. Punch hard. The aftermath alone caused part of the ground to dent. If the superhero nearby sees it, he must have turned pale with fright. But Peter roared forward without giving in, 
and part of the black symbiote fell off from his head, condensing into a terrifying skeleton that was flying, and then retracted in an instant, adding a bit of a weird feeling. Immediately afterwards, Spider-Man Black rushed forward. Although he was only the height of an ordinary person, after being strengthened by the Venom symbiote, he was no weaker than those powerful supervillains. One punch, two punches, three punches, punch and punch. Punch to the flesh. After the confrontation, countless amounts of sand fell from Sandman's cheeks. Under the continuous attacks of the Black Spider-Man, the huge amount of Sandman was beaten back and forth, and almost fell to the railway track. Click. Spider-Man Noir was so powerful that he grabbed Sandman's head and pushed him towards the fast-moving subway. A sharp and harsh friction sound sounded. Sandman let out a piercing scream, and even though his whole body turned into sand, his perception as a human being did not disappear. When the brain gradually collapses, he heard the sound of his skull breaking, and the feeling of fear and fear came to my heart. But the black palm at his neck was like a branding iron, holding him down. Can't move couldn't move at all. Sandman struggled desperately, like a drowning person, but no matter how hard he struggled, it was to no avail. Spider-Man Black's face hidden under the mask gradually became distorted. Feeling this violent action, the desire deep in his heart was satisfied. It was like eating an entire iced watermelon in the summer and being chilled from head to toe. But while he was enjoying it as if no one else was around. Click, click, a series of shutter sounds sounded. Spider-Man Noir raised his head and looked forward. He saw a man carrying a piano case smiling at him and waving his hand. My friend, the performance you just performed was so wonderful that I don't think I can enjoy it alone. I'm going to submit an article to the daily newspaper. The title is called Spider-Man Shows Off His Power and Crushes the Head of the Villain Sandman. You are looking for death. Black Snake Spider-Man's hair exploded in an instant, and even Sandman didn't care. He let go of his hand and pounced towards the man in front of him. In Peter's opinion, this behavior of being photographed by strangers has violated his bottom line. If it were in the past, the most it would have been was, breaking the camera. But now, he was ready to teach the fool in front of him a lesson. Let him know that there are some people not to mess with. After all, Spider-Man will always be the savior of New York citizens, he will always be righteous and bright, and he will never be stained. If anyone dares to undermine this, then he is dead. Roar. Sharp roars erupted from Spider-Man Black, and the patterns on his symbiote suit moved, forming a ferocious spider pattern. Ordinary people would be frightened to death just by seeing this scene. However, Lee Zon seized the opportunity and pressed the shutter several times. Only when the Spider-Man came in front of him, he held the piano case with his right hand and raised it flat. Draw the knife. Out of body like a dragon roaring, like a tiger roaring, accompanied by a flash of cold light. The black Spider-Man moved back at a faster speed. At this moment that no one else noticed with the naked eye, the black Spider-Man had already made a move with Lee Zon. He fell short. Since the debut of Spider-Man Noir, it can be said that it has been smooth sailing with his extraordinary dynamic perception and Peter's inspiration. Defeated many enemies along the way. But today, this guy actually almost hurt him with a knife. It's really unbelievable. And after Peter glanced up and down, he found traces from his knife-holding posture and the bloody long knife. It turns out it's you, the butcher. What, the killer butcher? Sandman managed to regain his human form by relying on the sand beside the track. After hearing these words, his originally rosy cheeks turned pale in an instant. Does he know how famous this superhero has become recently? In the New York City gang, if this guy's name is exposed, it will make the bosses behave like cats. Other superheroes can only break a few bones. But this one is different. He really beheaded him. According to the fragments circulated, it can be seen that when this person's eyes glow red, he looks like a crazy demon, like an evil ghost crawling out of hell, and can eat all human flesh and blood. It was unlucky enough to meet Spider-Man today. Meet this one again. Sandman's heart has sunk to the bottom, and he feels that he will definitely not be able to pass this hurdle. But is his daughter still waiting for him? With the bond of family, how can you lose? He had to fight to the death and fight to the end. Sandman clenched his fists, but just when he raised his head and looked at the two people, the young man holding the knife made a smile. Today, I'm on your side, 
You want to help a criminal? Spider-Man Noir looked extremely impatient after hearing this. He glared at the man in front of him and shouted, Are you going to fight against justice for a robber? Why are you so excited? Li Zong laughed when he heard this. He held the knife in front of his chest and said slowly, I took photos of you abusing Sandman. In my opinion, you are the violent villain. After all, he didn't hurt anyone in today's attack. On the contrary, you, Spider-Man Noir, are the criminal. You're messing around. Peter's tone became more and more impatient. In his opinion, these super criminals deserve to die, even if he had struck harder. He can absorb sand and recover. Moreover, if the theory of truth is serious, this guy in front of me, this is true killing without blood. He is a butcher who cuts off people's heads with his sword. I'm going to capture you all and hand them over to the law. Peter raised his head and said decisively. Then let's try it. A blue light appeared on the blade of Lizon's hand. There are actually superheroes willing to stand up for criminals. When Sandman saw this confrontation, Monk jong -er was a little confused. After all, he was not related to the butcher. I never thought I would be helped by him. But after seeing this scene, there was some resurgence of excitement. Deal with a person. There is a better chance of winning against two people. Sandman turned his hand and looked at the money bag that fell not far away, with burning desire in his eyes. Even that was only a measly one million dollars. But this is money he will never make in his lifetime. And with this money, only then could he continue to pay the high daily expenses in his daughter's ICU, and only then could he have hope for her recovery. How is this evidence of a crime? This is clearly a life-saving panacea. Sandman looked up into the sky. What a butcher, this is obviously Angel. Aha, then Angel took action. The terrifying sword light swept across. The azure sword energy swept across the sky and struck down. Just watching, it gave Sandman a feeling of hairiness all over his body. It was really hard to imagine how Peter would feel when faced with this move. If you can't avoid it, you will die. The black Spider-Man was facing a formidable enemy, and was obviously frightened by this move. Through his far superior perspective, he could see that the surrounding stone walls were flattened by the sword energy. Unimaginable, this would be damage caused by cold weapons. Even the shells fired by heavy tanks can only reach this level, right? The symbiote on Peter's body twisted, and as the black creature like a plastic plate twisted, two arms actually grew from his waist. Zila. Two more arms grew from the waist. It is the six-armed Spider-Man. He really deserves to be Sony's biological son. He can even explode on the spot. But the sword shines past. It seems like just a knife. But the first, second, and third moves of Aohan's six Ju were overlapped. The shadow of the knife is heavy. Just like Senluo's sword domain. In an instant, the six-armed Spider-Man flew out and hit the wall hard. It doesn't seem very strong. Sandman touched his head and gave such a comment. Then he seemed to remember something and hurried to the carriage to pick up his suitcase. But before he could pick it up, bang, the star shield came flying at high speed and hit him. Sandman lost his balance and fell to the ground, flying back with the shield. Captain Steve appeared with a shield and said seriously, Kid, you can't take this thing. Captain America, Sandman glanced up and down, looking at the man in front of him, and felt like his face was turning green. This is simply too grassy. They just robbed a million dollars, but they met these superheroes one after another. Do you want to be so exaggerated? Are they all so idle? But if this requires him to give up, absolutely impossible. Sandman lunged forward, fighting for his life against the suitcase that fell to the ground. Captain Steve naturally wouldn't let this happen, so he rushed forward and started fighting with him. As the first generation super soldier, Captain America is a perfect product. He has an extraordinary physique and will. He possesses many excellent qualities and has reached the level that symbolizes the spirit of the Star Spangled Banner. In addition, he has a shield that can reflect all energy. In the state of body and shield oneness, the combat capability shown by Captain Steve cannot be underestimated. Even though Sandman had a body that was constantly reorganizing, the winner could not be determined quickly, but instead fell into a stalemate. Bang! But then there was a sharp and dull impact. Sandman flew out sideways, but when he looked forward, he was stunned. In a dark corner, first there was the sound of roaring beasts. 
What followed was countless twisted objects like black tentacles. Assemble a terrifying humanoid spider monster. Not so long ago. Lee Zon used the blood drinking sword zone, six Aohan techniques to defeat Spider-Man Black. And hit the wall again and again. It also made Spider-Man, who was already in black and state, completely crazy. The venom suit that was originally an auxiliary on his body also began to grow wildly under the influence of the host spirit, dividing and multiplying rapidly, and finally formed a strange beast similar to a reptile. Where does the superhero Spider-Man look like here? It's just a scary mutant spider. Sandman stood speechless. Captain America, who was witnessing everything happening, also looked embarrassed and felt that the situation was difficult. What made him even more stunned was the knife-wielding Lee Zon. You know, before he quit S.H.I.E.L.D., the combat power that can be unleashed is far less terrifying than it is today. Has he been acting all this time? Steve pondered, and Xiao Juju came to his mind. If it is as he expected, where is his purpose based? A powerful person who has issues with S.H.I.E.L.D. Nothing to think about, will become a major hidden danger. Unless it can be eliminated immediately. After all, Steve had been frozen for 70 years and was deeply separated from the world. He didn't know that there was a creature called a, wall hanging, in this world. They don't need a reason to become stronger. Even the steps of cultivation can be omitted. Just pose properly. Lee Zon holds the blood-drinking crazy sword and activates the sword energy. After the biting cold air swept out. Three feet of ice. The sword move inherited from the second of Aohan's six techniques was unleashed. As the wind and frost hit his face, the sharp sword energy condensed into an ice wall. The ice was three feet thick, and even Spider-Man Black was trapped in it. A superhero was dispatched so easily. The young man holding the knife turned his head and turned his attention to Steve. What a coincidence. Captain, I can meet you here. Lee Zon, I'm sorry about what happened to you. Steve raised the shield in his hand warily, and after pressing the communication device on his right ear, he started talking to the man in front of him with a, sincere, expression. Aha, Lee Zon's response was simple. The handle is just a knife. After Steve dodged sideways, he realized that there was a knife mark about 10 feet long not far in front of him. If you are hit by this move, even his strengthened body would break. Are you crazy? We were once companions. Steve roared with an angry look on his face. Lee Zon said calmly, Iron Man is on his way here, right? Maybe Black Widow and Hawkeye are also there. Even if you want to contact us, why do you need to do such a small trick? My dear companion, this. After Steve heard this, his face turned red, but he couldn't say anything to refute. After all, what the young man in front of me said was true. At most two or three minutes will pass. They will rush to this subway station. It was also Steve's own choice to betray this friendship. Butcher, don't make the same mistake again and again. He still wanted to try harder. Captain, I only hope that your mouth escape can withstand that crazy spider. Lee Zon said no more, beckoned Sandman to his side, and then swung his knife to kill the frozen spider. Shaw's sword energy was chopped into pieces. Good guy, it's like a wild beast coming out of its cage. A huge strange spider walked out from the shadows. It was extremely ferocious. Even the reason in its eyes was gone, leaving only madness. Under the influence of the venom, Peter fell into a state of rage where he could not distinguish between friend and foe. Steve's face turned green, but firstly, he cannot fly, and secondly, he cannot have superior combat power. I could only watch the two people leaving the subway station. It's all my fault. If I had acted more safely, maybe the butcher wouldn't have left. Steve fell into self-reflection. Although it is also a matter of making amends. But he still couldn't help but fantasize about the good. Right, we are companions. Even if there is a gap, it can definitely be eliminated. There are no unsolvable misunderstandings between true companions. Just when Captain Steve was distracted, he was knocked away by the violent black Spider-Man and hit the ground hard. He opened his mouth and vomited a mouthful of blood. But this monster was attacking like crazy, tirelessly. Captain Steve's situation is already precarious. Tony, how long until you arrive? He pressed the earpiece and asked. The next second, small missiles dropped from the sky. Following a violent explosion, the metallic humanoid mecha fell from the sky. None other than Tony Stark. 
After he took off his helmet, he responded coolly, right away. Captain Steve stood up, gripped the lock of the shield tightly and said, I need your help to subdue this out-of-control superhero. Out-of-control, superhero. Upon hearing this, Iron Man turned his attention to the huge black spider opposite. Its sharp claws continued to scrape across the rock wall, piercing the steel plate, forming dense small holes, which could vaguely be seen. Let some light shine through. You call this a superhero. Iron Man Tony shook his head, expressing his disapproval. Another dazed time, Steve was whipped into the sky again. Without Tony's help, his defeat is a foregone conclusion. But that fool playboy was happy to evaluate the number of pairs of legs on the strange black spider in front of him. Not in a hurry to take action. This fool egomaniac. Steve's face turned blue with anger. Another moment passed. After the playboy turned his head and saw Roger's embarrassed appearance, he suddenly realized it, controlled the armor, and joined the battle. Boo! A dense barrage of bullets was fired. A fire dragon formed in the sky. This time it was Spider-Man Black's turn to suffer. Despite his agility, he also took a lot of shots. Also under this firepower suppression, Steve started assisting, knocking on the iron sheets of the surrounding walls, making a harsh and roaring sound. The huge venomous Spider-Man seemed to be getting more and more irritable and started a fierce counterattack with even greater force. Iron Man is okay because he is flying in the air. But Captain America is miserable. Boom. After Captain Steve took a hit, he flew backwards again. He covered his trembling arms and fell into deep thought. Could it be that my guess was wrong? This black spider just hates noise. The noise doesn't affect him much. Steve showed an expression of sudden realization. He patted the shield and said, I understand that big black spider's weakness is melee combat. As long as we break its limbs, it will have no fighting power. He rushed forward with shield in hand. When Iron Man saw this, he also suppressed it with firepower. But ten minutes passed in a row. But the symbiote couldn't be defeated no matter what. Even if its black body is destroyed. Can it be restored in the next second? Are you still playing with a hammer? Iron Man complained. You are the most elite super soldier ever. Is that wrong? Steve shook his head stubbornly and said. It's impossible. The conclusion is correct, but the method is wrong. Strength it must be insufficient. How about you try to use missiles to blow its body into pieces? Only with great force can miracles happen. Iron Man, ha! Huh. Just when the members of the Avengers team continued to suffer. However, Lee Zahn gained a lot. As he took Sandman away from the superheroes and successfully arrived at the hospital to pay the bill, he was just waiting to perform surgery on her daughter next week. This mature man knelt in front of him, said with red eyes, you are my savior. I just did some very trivial things. Li Zan shook his head. After all, his motives were not pure. After hearing this, Sandman was even more moved, and said with tears in his eyes, Li Zan will be his best friend and partner, and he will go through fire and water without hesitation. And the sound of the system's improvement also sounded. Ding, congratulations to the host for fulfilling Sandman's wish and starting to settle rewards. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining Fungian, magic knife. Ding, it's been detected that Sandman's respect for you is off the charts. This reward will be doubled as a critical hit. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting the Hokage, Mangekio Sharingan. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining Hokage, Indra's blood succession limit. Good guy, buy one get one free. I have already obtained the function legs, the blood-drinking crazy sword, and the six Aohan art, and now I have obtained the demonic sword. Isn't it just the standard equipment of the god of wind? Li Zan's eyes were full of joy. You must know that this magic sword has been used throughout Ni Feng's martial arts career, and was once considered the strongest sword technique. Although it has the risk of people falling into the devil's way, it does not hinder his cards. Even in, Feng Yun 2, and, Feng Yun 3, Ni Feng, the god of wind, broke up with Bi Yu Jingyan. But the supreme secret of the demon sword he masters, demon heart crossing. Still no less impressive, there is a saying that is right. Ten years of monasticism, it's better to become a demon all at once. When falling into the devil's path, martial arts practitioners will gain huge amounts of combat power increase. This improvement increases with the martial artist's own strength. 
Compared with Nifang who mastered the demon heart crossing at the beginning, Nifang became a demon. It's not on the same level at all. To sum up, this magic sword is a skill that can be enhanced as the strength becomes stronger. This kind of sustainable development, it also established its importance. And mastering this magic sword is equivalent to having the ability to explode. Even if I face some gods, I still have the confidence to fight them. Li Zan was thinking about it and looked at the other two benefits of the system. Needless to say, the Mangekio Sharingan. It is the heavenly eye known as the strongest in the ninja world, possessing earth-shattering eye skills. Including but not limited to copying, hypnotic ability, observation, and analyzing opponents' moves. If used in combat, it can also summon Amaterasu, the most powerful fire escape type move. What, do you think this flame is not strong enough? So what about, Susano? Only by developing one's own pupil power to the extreme and having powerful energy can it activate the ultimate pupil technique. Its file size exceeds the mountain peaks, and the overall appearance is like a god of war. The armor on the back transforms into wings, which can soar in the sky. In Skyrim, the weapon is equipped with double swords, which can easily split mountains and meteorites, and can also use the ninjutsu that the caster is good at. This is equivalent to having a large super strong thug. And big is strong. And strength means oppression. Just the size alone is a huge advantage. It's enough to make those young people frightened by the news. Although if you use this Mangekio Sharingan too much, you will become blind. But Li Zan glanced at the next limit of Indra's blood inheritance and felt relieved. After all, this is the bloodline that comes from the ancestors of the Uchiha clan and can perfectly match the Sharingan. After integration, it can not only make up for the flaws and shortcomings of the Sharingan, but also achieve the effect of 1 plus 1 being greater than 2. And after integrating into this bloodline, it can also change the practitioner's body to the point of possessing unique Yin attribute chakra. This kind of thing in the ninja world is enough to make those cage level experts break their heads and fight for it. When it comes to Lee Zan, it actually becomes a buy one get one free offer. Or as a couple, a bit cheap. What also makes him excited is that this pupil technique system does not conflict with the Fungian martial arts system he extracted. To some extent, they are complementary. Martial arts heavenly eye. See through everything. Lee Zan felt that he was making a lot of money this time. You must know that before the system is upgraded, if he wants to obtain the system's ability, the tasks he needs to complete are much more difficult than this. During the mission to obtain the blood drinking knife, Li Zan was almost completely blown up by TNT explosives. In the end, he managed to escape from the rebel camp with three broken ribs. But this time, just for helping others, I got several times more benefits. I understand. Li Zan murmured to himself and clenched his hands unconsciously. Director Nick is such a good guy. He knew that he was not strong enough, so he let himself go out alone and had the opportunity to help the villain. And the returns are huge, more than a thousand times. What is this equivalent to? He fed all the food directly into Li Zan's mouth. Increase his strength step by step. Then I have to give you some fun. Otherwise, I'm sorry for the repay shield gave me. A uh, smile flashed in Li Zan's eyes. The night is dark. At the other end of the station, even with the powerful combination of Captain America and Iron Man, it took a lot of effort to subdue the spider demon. Steve lamented. This battle was so difficult. Iron Man controlled the armor and scanned and compared the man in front of him. This black creature most likely came from outer space. It is different from the creatures existing on the earth, and the material is excellent. If we can make good use of it, there is great potential for development. Tony, don't even think about studying such dangerous things. I will definitely stop you. After hearing this, Steve stepped forward and refused unceremoniously. In his opinion, these dangerous gadgets should be destroyed on the spot. If those scientists are allowed to study, maybe something will happen. Tony snorted at this. He did not take this threatening word seriously. Instead, he said sarcastically. I don't know who swore that it can be defeated in close combat. It's totally the opposite. This kind of black creature is afraid of light, heat and sound. You, Steve stared angrily when he heard this, and could only turn his head and ask, why aren't Black Widow and Hawkeye here yet? Tony looked up and said, they had a little accident on the way here. Little accident, 
Supposedly there was a fight with a blindfolded superhero. What's the result? Of course I won, Iron Man said, and when Captain America wasn't paying attention, he reached out and cut off a piece of the symbiote from Peter. He murmured contemptuously, an old thing that can't keep up with the times, how could I fail? New York City is much more dazzling at night than during the day. The streets of the city are full of drunken men and women hugging each other, using the sky as a quilt and the ground as a seat. Let's have a vigorous battle. Pooh. Nausea. April walked from the crowded street. After a day of running around, she was extremely tired. However, her professional habits as a reporter still allowed her to instinctively observe the surrounding environment, trying to capture something exciting from it. News. But except for those roaring like wild beasts, there is no more exciting place to be. Just like I can't catch the criminal evidence of the Bigfoot gang, I can't find the four turtle people living in this sewer. She whispered, starting half a month ago, April began to track the case of female abduction. Although judging from the evidence at the scene and the surveillance cameras, it may have been done by the notorious Bigfoot gang. But there is no real evidence. She could only watch the Bigfoot gang go unpunished. While she was deep in thought, a man walked by not far in front of him. He was carrying a piano case and looked very quiet and delicate. This well-informed female reporter couldn't help but look up for five seconds. Until the red light on the roadside changes color. April just woke up from a dream. But just as she was crossing the street, something happened suddenly. Under the shade of the tree, three masked men rushed out. The black cloth covered their faces tightly, and only the tattoos on their shoulders could be seen. It can be seen that they all belong to the same organization. The female reporter saw that this posture was wrong and started running without saying anything. But how could she compare to those professional thugs wearing high heels? After a while, he was cornered. You can't do this. I have a few strong friends. They come and go without a trace in the dark. You don't want to meet them. She waved her hand. It's a pity that this pretending to be calm can't coax those big guys at all. One of the bald white men even took out a stick from his arms and shouted. If you have a friend, then let him come to us. I was in Hell's Kitchen, so I didn't get scared. The other two people nodded again and again, obviously agreeing with what his friend said. April's heart tightened when she heard this. Apparently he was aware of the difficulty of the situation. Are you really going to die here today? Excuse me, can you please give way? Just then, a male voice sounded, go according to the reputation. The, weak, man carrying the piano case came into view. He seemed to be very anxious, and he waved his hand specifically to let them leave. Boy, are you looking for death? The bald man instantly raged, swung his stick, and hit the man in the face. This bald man has a fierce look on his face. But gradually, the movements of my hands slowed down. The two partners behind the bald head were not aware of the sudden change in the situation, but instead said excitedly. Why are you so sympathetic today? Do you still want to play with this kids? It's such a good training opportunity, so you have to bring me along. These fools. When April heard such wanton remarks, she was very angry and wished that these scumbags were all dead. But what follows is worry and fear. If this man was killed because of her, she would feel guilty for the rest of her life. You too fool, how dare you come at me? April plucked up the courage, assumed an unfamiliar boxing stance, and waved to the two men. This female reporter's figure is undoubtedly excellent. Especially the one who looks like he is going to fight against evil to the end. Makes people feel resentful. The urge to crush her to pieces. The two gangsters rushed towards her almost in no particular order. When April saw this, she also clenched her fists, and she wanted to fight against evil to the end. Then, bang, she got punched hard, his eyes went white. He fell to the ground. Just when the female reporter felt dizzy and a double image appeared in front of her eyes. Bang, bang, bang. Three crisp explosions sounded. The three punks exploded from top to bottom. Blood and water were scattered everywhere. It's like a coconut shell being split open and the juice splashing around along with the pulp. Before April could recover, she noticed a pair of hands lifting her up from the ground. Her mind was still dizzy and she could only hold back vomiting and asked. You, who are you? If you are willing to help me publish this thing, you will be my friend. The man smiled and took out a camera from his arms and handed it over. 
Then he looked at the female reporter in front of him and trembled all over. You actually, got a picture of Spider-Man. This is something that only the Daily Bugle can master. If it's just an ordinary photo, that's fine. This is Spider-Man's dirty stuff. God knows, if this thing is published, what kind of sensation it will cause. April said in disbelief. Lizon spread his hands and said, looks like I'm very satisfied, so I'll ask you to publish this. Hearing this, April pulled the camera closer, and hurriedly asked, why do you want to give it to me if you have such a good thing? Aren't you afraid that I will run away and not admit it? I know your appearance, and I don't think you will default on your debt. Li Zan said, pointing to the mess around him. After all, the consequences of going against me, won't be very good. You, you, are a butcher. Today's encounter was so exciting. It's just a gangster looking for trouble, but I actually met a butcher. The way he kills gangsters is so cool. April walked quickly towards the apartment. Although her face was still expressionless, her heart was full of turmoil. Thanks to the promotion of the mastermind behind the scenes. In the past week, there has been a lot of news about butchers. Report after report, it outlines the image of a bloody, brutal, and ruthless murderer. His principles of doing things are different from most superheroes. He is the kind who can be ruthless. No matter who the criminal is, as long as he makes a mistake, he must be punished. Use thunderous means. Only then can we kill the chicken to scare the monkey. The Daily Bugle even jokingly said. There are only two types of superheroes in New York City, one is the butcher, and the other is superheroes other than the butcher. Before today, April was just an ordinary female reporter. But because of his relationship as a gangster, he came into contact with this superhero. He was even entrusted with a task. What a huge amount of trust. April felt like a warrior on the battlefield, as if she was completing some mission, hypocritical Spider-Man, I will make you pay the price. If it were in the past, this female reporter will also think that Spider-Man is a representative of justice and the savior of all residents of Queens. He is like a flawless nemesis of evil, bringing justice and protection to the residents. But after the photos and videos taken by the butcher were seen, April discovered that there was quite a lot of dark side hidden deep in this person's heart, if not for this reason. How did he turn into a big spider? The female reporter whispered, and her impression of Peter dropped to an extremely bad level. At this time, she didn't realize that right between the tall buildings, there was a man in a red uniform listening to everything happening around him. There was still a new injury on his waist, which made him look very embarrassed. At this time in the past, Daredevil is already traveling through the city, fighting criminals. But today's lawyer Matt is caught in self-doubt. Not long ago, he was spotted by two S.H.I.E.L.D. agents because he attacked a few gangsters too harshly. He was identified as a criminal, was injured, and fled. This is an extremely absurd reason. As a lawyer, he can clearly know his bottom line. As for the perpetrator, it's pure bullshit. Even if he moves to the most authoritative court, he can defend himself with a few words. But why can those two guys think that they are the bad guys? And he still shoots arrows without saying anything. Can their actions be called justice? Daredevil felt that the balance deep in his heart was overturning, and his anger was burning. It is also for this reason that Daredevil keeps watching the female reporter gradually move away, but does not show her figure. He clearly witnessed the whole process of the butcher's torture of those gangsters. He also clearly saw the female reporter being rescued. If he had followed the previous moral principles, Daredevil would have been unable to help but jump out and accuse the butcher of his behavior. But after being hit today, he gave up on himself and said, I am a violent law enforcer. Then what is he? Ha ha. As long as the result is just, so what if there are some twists and turns in the process? In a hospital affiliated with S.H.I.E.L.D., after Spider-Man was knocked unconscious, he was taken to a high-level ward where he was treated by professional doctors. The entire process was completed under the watchful eye of Nick Fury. Naturally, he did not miss this good opportunity. Not only were several tubes of blood drawn from Spider-Man, but some of the stem cells and some organs in his body were also preserved. All these actions were completed by Fitz, a new scientist in S.H.I.E.L.D. Because he usually focuses on experimental research, he seemed very nervous when facing the director's report, but he still completed the report with due diligence. 
the superhero Spider-Man has some genes that overlap with those of spiders. This benign mutation gives him strength and speed far beyond ordinary people. He also has the ability similar to dynamic vision, because of the rapid neural response, he can often react accordingly before danger occurs. What's even more amazing, is the black substance on his body. I've compared all the creatures on the earth today, but I haven't found anything similar. It's almost like it was developed by another system. It is aggressive, ambitious and can give people aggression. If the structure can be extracted from this black substance, the soldier's combat power may be greatly improved. If the derivative rules can be extracted from this black substance, it may be possible to solve the cancer that humans cannot solve today. This is the best news I've heard today. Director Nick smiled and nodded, then gave some encouragement and arranged for Agent Fitz to continue working. And when there is no one around, the helmsman of S.H.I.E.L.D. took off his disguise and kept Fool on the table, muttering, Butcher, a powerful killer. As a partner, who has worked with Lee Zahn, director Nick knew very well that underneath his indifferent expression was an unwavering determination. He is like an executioner, judging the darkness according to his own will. If as a companion, this will be a solid shield, but as an enemy, it will bring them unimaginable despair. Listening to Captain Steve's report, Butcher's strength was still hidden when he was in shield. This is really troublesome. Director Nick is a veteran who has a strong desire for control and is good at taking precautions. As an agent who has lived since World War II, if he had not been good at calculations, he would have been dragged down by white people wearing tinted glasses. It is also because of the keen perception of crisis. Only then did he realize that the butcher's growing strength would cause a series of immeasurable reactions to the current, surface peaceful, situation. After all, according to his plan, after absorbing Iron Man to join S.H.I.E.L.D., not only can he use this scientist to invent technology, but he can also rely on his popularity among the public to create a good publicity for S.H.I.E.L.D. In this case, all parties will benefit, and all they have to do is sacrifice the vicious butcher. It couldn't be a better deal. In fact, this is indeed the case. How can personal strength compete with powerful capital? Even if he is punishing and eradicating evil. But compared with the benefits brought by Iron Man, they seem extremely small. Necessary sacrifices are inevitable. I still have to talk to Tony. Director Nick sighed. He hoped that this incident would not develop into the worst possible situation. But if it still happens, then he could only use thunderous means to nip the danger in the bud. After all, the establishment of S.H.I.E.L.D. was led by the heroic agent Carter and Dr. Howard. It was established during the war years. During this period, it experienced countless crises and tests, and countless agents sacrificed their lives. This organization not only carries their ideals, it also carries countless blood and sacrifices. And this group will surely move towards glory. Early in the morning, the morning sun shines on the earth. New York City. It was another peaceful day. Inside the New York Times headquarters, April was putting on makeup to prepare for her speech. After getting the dirty information about Spider-Man last night, she actively contacted the editor-in-chief and even got her approval to participate in the 7 o'clock morning live broadcast. You must know that in the past days, this show was hosted by celebrities in the group. Now the opportunity fell to her. Come on, you can do it. April cheered herself up walked into the studio, and signaled the photographer to start working. This is the New York Times, 7 a.m. show, and I'm your new host. April. I'm very happy to be able to bring you some special news today. It's about our city's hero Spider-Man. Everyone, please look at the big screen. The man in the black suit is Spider-Man. This character who was supposed to be our protective umbrella, super policeman, and life-saving hero is actually a monster behind the scenes. Everyone, take a look. It's starting to become deformed. It has sharp fangs, sharp joints, and huge amounts of mouthparts. How can this be our hero? Just after this news was broadcast. In less than 10 minutes. News about Spider-Man has become a hot search topic on the web. Even in this millennium when the internet is not prosperous. There are still a large number of netizens who like to share and discuss current affairs news online. Not to mention it still revolves around the superhero Spider-Man. 
If the butcher news a week ago had already shattered the public's understanding of people with super abilities, then Spider-Man's mutation today was undoubtedly a depth bomb that shattered the public's outlook on life. After all, compared to the butcher, Spider-Man spends more time doing good deeds in New York City and has accumulated more fans. This kind of idol figure becomes more and more legendary as time goes by. At the end, he was tied to the altar. If anyone can pull it off, that would be a huge impact like a tsunami. How could Spider-Man be such a vicious monster? No, I definitely don't agree. These are all fake. Yes, yes, the photos have been modified and the videos have been synthesized. Spider-Man will always be our protective umbrella. Stop dreaming, okay, open your eyes and take a good look. This Spider-Man is a monster in human skin. It doesn't matter if he is a monster, we still like him. He he he, the retarded idiot upstairs, I really hope that after you meet this monster, you will be eaten by him, so that you can still cheer, finally integrated with Spider-Man. The heated discussion on the internet is in full swing. But April's news about Spider-Man did not stop, but only added to the fire. Put Sandman's identity onto the screen. Based on my investigation over the past two days, I have found the identity of the robber Sandman. He is Flint Marco. As a criminal serving a five-year sentence, Marco performed extremely well during his more than four years in prison. He not only cooperated with the prison guards, but also actively accepted reform. But just half a month ago, he unexpectedly escaped from prison. He escaped from prison not for anything else, but for his terminally ill daughter. From a legal perspective, he is a criminal, but from a father's perspective, he is undoubtedly excellent. I'm not advocating robbery. It's not about criticizing Spider-Man's motives. I only know that Sandman is a great father. Even if he has to accept legal sanctions, he should not be abused, ravaged, and severely damaged by this Spider-Man. We like superheroes who protect the city, not this kind of trash. Spider-Man, get out of New York City. Within New York City. In addition to the history of Iron Man, Stark Industries. The only one with a better name is the Osborne Group. But in the past few weeks, this fast-moving giant ship has been hit by rocks one after another. First, the group's president, Old Osborne, died unexpectedly. Then little Osborne suddenly became seriously ill and was living in a villa to recuperate. Crack, a crisp crashing sound came from the villa. It was like a switch had been flipped. Roars and laughter spread. Peter, Peter, you have today too. How does it feel to be abandoned by the residents you saved? Little green goblin Harry held his head and crawled on the sofa, the moment he raised his head. What caught his eye was a face that looked like a madman especially those green and black eyes. Just like a vampire bat. Spider demon, that's a good name. You are a monster like me. We should be best friends. But why, why did you kill my father? The little green goblin Harry roared like a madman. Just as he stared at the female reporter on the TV, he began to talk a little bit, and he said, Peter, who can make you feel weak? I should find him too. I'm going to ask for his help. I will definitely let you feel my pain. In a high-end hospital affiliated with S.H.I.E.L.D., Peter was groggy. When he opened his eyes, he saw not only the medical workers, but also Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye standing aside, extending their hands to say hello. What am I? His memory still lingers on the battle with the Butcher. He was defeated by the Butcher. He felt both angry and helpless. Because that man is too powerful. He kept getting beaten. And at the end of the battle, he seemed to have turned into a giant spider. Peter suddenly opened the quilt, looked at his hands again, and breathed a sigh of relief when he found that there were no distortions. But then he discovered something unexpected. He was not wearing a mask. No, Peter roared angrily, swinging his fists and hitting the edge of the bed. At this moment the metal frame deformed. Peter suddenly jumped up from the edge of the bed, absorbing the wall with one hand, and throwing the other guardedly towards the three people in front of him. Who are you? Where am I again? He waved his fists emotionally and assumed an aggressive posture. Aha! When Eagle Eye saw this, he didn't show any weakness, and in the blink of an eye he caught a long arrow. Black Widow also took out a short knife from her waist and assumed a fighting posture. Steve saw something was wrong with the situation and jumped out in a hurry. He waved his hands outward, looking harmless, and said, 
Peter, relax, everything is over, you are safe where you live. You're Captain America. Peter's heart tightened when he saw the familiar face, and he said with some suspicion, didn't you die 70 years ago? Kid, you know, I was injected with super serum and happened to crash near a glacier, so, I was lucky enough to survive. Captain Steve was walking as he spoke and had already reached Peter. Under his comfort and explanation, Peter's mood quickly stabilized. But at this moment, dong dong dong, there was a rapid knock on the door. Scientist Fitz rushed over and shouted to everyone in the room, No, the black symbiote is out of control. The black symbiote is out of control. After Captain Steve heard the news, he looked extremely angry, didn't I tell you to lock it up? What did you do again? It's just, just some small experiments. Fitz explained. The black symbiote, is it my suit? Peter was stunned when he heard this. Immediately afterwards, the anger that had just calmed down in his heart burst out again. These fools, not only took off their masks, let your identity be exposed. He even took off his battle clothes. Out of control. What experiments did they do with their suits? I have to save this. Peter jumped up and immediately flew out of the ward. This sudden scene caught everyone off guard. Chase. Captain Steve looked gloomy and chased after him first. He didn't want to watch the superhero cause trouble in S.H.I.E.L.D. Two groups of people were running forward one behind the other. But Peter is faster. He explored quickly. Where? Where have you gone? Bang. Peter broke open a door again. He saw a black, sticky substance struggling painfully under the glass cover. I found it. Peter flew to the glass cover with a sudden movement and then punched upwards with a fist. Bang. Bang. The glass was not moved at all. No. Peter punched hard again, and just as he tried hard, the venom trapped in him also punched out. Zila, Zila, there was a crackling sound. First there was a crack. Then several cracks spread, spider webs formed, it was also at this last moment. Captain America, Hawkeye, and Black Widow rushed into the house. Peter, stop what you are doing, this suit is dangerous. Captain Steve yelled, throwing out the shield and throwing it forward. Wow. Peter stretched out his left hand to catch the shield, and then swung out his right fist fiercely. Crash, the glass cover shattered under the blow. The thick venom climbed up and melted into his body. Black Spider returns, you are the danger. Peter raised his head and said, the suit on his body was squirming, with six spider legs extending out, like a madman. The next moment, he rushed towards the three Avengers. Bang, there was a violent crash. Captain Steve was knocked out of the room. The whole person fell down from the upstairs. Although he relied on his strong physical fitness, he was still hit hard. Cough cough cough. Steve stood up from the ground, his face no longer calm, but filled with unknown fire. Hello Peter, isn't that just taking off your evil suit? You still turn against us, are you out of your mind? Bang, that's when, another figure flew out, it's Hawkeye. When he fell headfirst to the ground, Steve rushed forward and pulled him up. If not, he would definitely break his legs. Captain, that's a lunatic. Hawkeye said with some fear, he is by no means a normal superhero. All I see in his eyes is violence. We have to stop him. Steve interrupted, and the two of them hurried upstairs. Hawkeye is just an ordinary person who can only run upstairs. Steve is different, especially Steve from Body and Shield Oneness. You can also use the shield to jump between floors. He looked at the laboratory getting closer and closer. High morale. Bang. In the laboratory. After Black Widow was also knocked down. Peter suddenly felt palpitations, and then felt unreasonable nausea. He felt the venom suit trembling on his body. What did those scientists do to the venom? Peter reluctantly cheered up, and then hurriedly pulled away and hit the window not far away. He wants to escape from this place. After he gets a safe environment, he will see how venom reacts. Wow, Peter sped between the buildings, especially when the black spider webs were pulling at him, causing his speed to reach over 200 yards per hour. And just as he was running wildly, but he didn't notice that the symbiote wrapped around his body had expanded into a pustule. As the pustule gradually expanded and became larger, bang, a long, thin red line sprayed out. The symbiote venom gradually calmed down his mood. And the symbiote daughter that was ejected. It's not another creature. But the second generation massacre. 
At this time, it had no formal understanding of the outside world, but had a vague feeling that it had been abandoned. Wrong. Anger. There is also an indescribable feeling. This symbiote in its newborn stage decided to fill its stomach when it thought that it was hungry. After April's morning news was played, the discussion surrounding Spider-Man has become more and more intense. It's like throwing a big stone into the lake. What stirred up were layers of waves. First are the netizens who go online. Then there were countless migrant workers. They all talked about how the city's superheroes turned into monsters overnight. In the dark sewer, the black figure was huddled in the corner. Not someone else. It's none other than Spider-Man Peter. At this time, after he calmed down a little, he asked Venom, how are you feeling? I have been in contact with this symbiosis these days. Peter already knew he was an intelligent creature. So I tried to communicate with it. It doesn't feel good. Venom uses consciousness to convey emotions. What happened? Peter continued to ask. Those hateful guys in white clothes injected me with a mysterious liquid, and I became uncontrollable, and it seemed like a child was born. Venom told this experience over a period of time. But Spider-Man was suddenly shocked when he heard this. Have a baby. Is this a mysterious ghost operation? He couldn't believe it and checked with Venom again. After knowing that the situation is true, his face turned very ugly. After all, he knew how powerful the suit he was wearing was, but now, he was forced to give birth to a child under the experiment of those shield fools. Then isn't the battle suit you are wearing unique? This feeling, as if he had stepped on dog poop, made him nauseous. What makes him feel even more frustrated is, it's just a night's work. The surrounding residents began to collectively resist Spider-Man, and even posted slogans such as, Spider-Man get out of New York, on street corners. You know, it wasn't that long ago. When Peter put on the Spider-Man suit and went out to do justice, the surrounding residents cheered. How could they change their minds so quickly? And he also posted countless vicious words. This feeling of being abandoned by everyone in an instant made his faith feel like a heavy blow. No matter how much Peter scratched his head, he still couldn't understand why the house collapsed so quickly. Butcher, it just happened after contacting him. This guy is also from S.H.I.E.L.D. It's all S.H.I.E.L.D.'s fault. What a fool. S.H.I.E.L.D., I must take revenge. Peter roared angrily. Manhattan Island, within the neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen. It's in the basement disguised as an abandoned factory. Push the switch. What comes into view is the exquisitely decorated safe house, which is fully equipped with kitchen and shelter, especially water and food, which have been stocked for more than half a year. Even if the water and electricity are cut off, it can still meet the daily necessities of life. And walked along the big round table towards the workbench. There is also a high-tech computer. Nine LCD screens are constantly playing and capturing social news and hot topics. Tick. Lizon put down the coffee in his hand, and as he continued to browse online information, he also knew that Spider-Man's reputation was declining. This kind of action against superheroes is just the result of his convenience. Not worth mentioning, another short video caught his attention. The mysterious man's punches are so powerful that he can make people vomit blood with just one punch. After clicking on the video, what came into view was a homeless man with a slovenly beard. He was wearing a tattered jacket and his whole body showed an embarrassed temperament. However, the moment he punched, there was a radiance of his own. The hammer held by the gangster just touched the bare fist and was blown away. Is this Iron Fist Nick who just came down from Kunlun? Nick is now at a low point in his life. Although he has a lot of skills, his identity is not recognized by Milcom Industrial Group. Even his parents' shares are occupied by Harold's family. If he hadn't returned some skills have been swallowed up by capital long ago and no bones are left. But if he can get his parents' shares back, you can become a young billionaire. Although not to the level of Tony Stark. But Danny also has a unique advantage. He defeated Sho Lao in Kunlun and obtained the magical iron fist by putting his hands into the brazier in the heart of the immortal dragon. Although this power is not used to the extreme. But no matter what, you can still have a 50 to 50 fight with Captain Steve, right? Lee Zahn is preparing to bring down the Avengers, but he does not intend to disintegrate them from the level of violence. Instead, he is preparing to defeat them from a higher level, from the level of beliefs, beliefs, and ideals. Not all of them call themselves superheroes. 
Don't you want your hands to be stained with innocent blood? Even if there is a chance to kill those superheroes, they must be put in prison. This kind of behavior of being a fool and setting up a memorial arch is undoubtedly even more disgusting. Do you choose to let people go? You are amazing. You are noble. But have you ever thought about it? When these super criminals come out of prison again, how many innocent people will they kill? I will tear off all your hypocritical masks, starting with Spider-Man. I can't wait long. At this stage, first collect like-minded companions. In block 15 of Hell's Kitchen, although it was afternoon, there were still very few pedestrians, and the occasional ones passing by were some skinny drug addicts. They were acting like no one was around. But there was a man among them, but he did not complain about others. Instead, he fisted his fist and muttered to himself. The elders taught me to be chivalrous and righteous. I saw a woman being bullied and I jumped on her. Isn't this correct? But I just broke his tooth. Why does that woman say I'm crazy? And just as Danny walked to the burger cart, he smelled the aroma and his stomach growled. Although Danny suffered a lot in order to escape from the Kunlun secret realm. But in the wild, he can still use the skills he has learned, and he can also hunt for food. But after arriving in the city, Danny found that he had become a waste to a certain extent. It's not just the money that's gone. Even my own habits are out of touch with the world. Just when he was ready to fight against the exhaustion of his body with strong perseverance. Two burgers were handed to him. Danny looked up. What caught his eye was a young man carrying a piano case. Without waiting for him to say the words of rejection, the young man gave an irresistible reason. When you're full, why don't you fight with me? You want to fight me? Danny's eyes lit up after hearing this. After all, he has practiced martial arts in Kunlun for many years, and the only pure skill he has mastered is fighting. He immediately gave him a fist in a warrior's manner. Then he said, then I would be disrespectful. Then, he took three bites of a hamburger and finished them off quickly. At the end, he touched his mouth and said words of thanks. Li Zong looked at the man in front of him and said with a smile, maybe you can have some more. Really, that would be so embarrassing. Danny patted his belly and said honestly, I'm only half full. Ten more, Li Zong did not miss this opportunity to increase his favorability. It's only a few dozen dollars, but it can provide help in times of need. It's quite a bargain. After some time, Danny rubbed his belly to show that he was full. The owner of the dining car had a look of horror on his face and was speechless looking at this man. Is this still a human being? Show off 20 of them in one go. If it weren't for Danny's rosy face, the boss couldn't help but call the ambulance. With plenty of wine and food, Danny naturally started talking to Lee Zahn, when will the showdown be? But Lee Zahn resisted and said, it is not suitable for strenuous exercise just after eating. Oh wow, Danny nodded and chatted with him. It didn't take long for him to reveal all his details. Although Danny did not explain that he was studying in Kunlun. But it also said that he came out of seclusion in the mountains. It is somewhat incompatible with the modern environment. And also encountered a lot of trouble. Originally, he wanted to ask Harold to find out whether the crash that year had anything to do with him. But what is frustrating is that in the past two days, Danny tried to contact Milcham Industrial Group, but was kicked out without even meeting. Actually, you can talk to your childhood friend. Li Zan suggested. In the original plot of Iron Fist, Danny was drugged and imprisoned in a mental hospital while talking to his childhood friend Joey. If he didn't end up with the aura of the protagonist, he might have been imprisoned for how long? The icing on the cake. After all, it is better to provide help in times of need. This is an opportunity to increase your favorability. Lee Zahn is ready to help Danny when he is in trouble. In this way, he may be able to turn this cute new superhero into a friend in need. I really have to talk to them. Danny muttered, but what he was thinking about was going to talk to Ward Meacham. In today's Milcom Industrial Group, the current president is Ward. As for his sister Joy, she assists him in financial management and has no actual helming power. Suddenly. The sound of high heels trampling the ground came quickly. Look up, but there was a black female police officer running over at a sprint speed of 100 meters. When Danny saw the policewoman, he seemed a little panicked. He turned to Lee Zahn and said, Sir, I enjoyed chatting with you, but I have to go. 
Let's duel next time. You can contact me through it. Li Zan handed him a mobile phone with his backhand. Okay. Danny ran forward two steps at a time. The policewoman wanted to stop him, but when she found that she couldn't catch up, she could only sigh and walk away in disgrace. And Li Zan looked at her back, thoughtfully. He had recognized the woman's identity. Officer Misty. In Hell's Kitchen, she is Luke Cage's fighting partner. Sure enough, these superheroes are all gathered together. A carrot and a pit. Find the right place. There will definitely be something to gain. Why don't we join the defenders for fun? Li Zan was thinking. And just then, suddenly a system prompt sounded in my mind. Ding, a random mission has been detected nearby. The Feast of Slaughter. Slaughter has not had enough to eat since it was born. It is so thin that it can only find food in the slaughterhouse. But even though it is careful, it is still targeted, and even killed by Kingpin's top killer. Bullseye chased. Ding, after accepting this mission, the host needs to help the massacre escape and let him have a good meal. The reward for this mission will be doubled based on the massacre's gratitude level and the critical strike will be doubled. An orgy of slaughter. When Li Zan received this task, he was a little confused. After all, in the original plot, the massacre was only split when the reporter Eddie was killed. Now it's obviously still Spider-Man's suit. It was actually born. Is this the plot change I brought about? Li Zan murmured. So he chose to help with the massacre. After all, there is nothing pitiable about Bullseye in the comic book plot. He does all sorts of evil, including burning, killing, looting, and so on. But because of the bullshit, bond of good and evil, he still survives even after fighting dozens of superheroes. There is no momentum at all to receive a box lunch, and it looks like an old lady's foot binding cloth, which is smelly and long. I won't be that nagging. Life or death depends on my heart. Li Zan dodged and flew towards the target location. A few blocks away, in that dark factory, bang. The explosion was accompanied by a burst of fire. From the dust, a killer with a cold face walked out. He stared at the huddled, shivering symbiote in the corner, with a crazy smile on his face. Run, why don't you run away, you? Dare you mess with my men? I must give you some color to see. Bullseye raised his gun and pointed it at it. The carnage howled in agony. Face ordinary people. It is a born hunter. But face the bullseye. He's just a guy who takes a beating. Because bullseye isn't just Kingpin's trump card. He is also the top killer among humans, and his physical fitness has reached a level comparable to that of Captain America. His throwing abilities, close combat, and beast perception are also far beyond ordinary people, and he can kill an entire special team with his bare hands. In addition, Slaughter was injected with medicine by S.H.I.E.L.D., which caused the birth of symbionts and congenital malnutrition. That's why he was beaten half to death. Just when the massacre was being suppressed, several more men in black clothes came over and stood respectfully behind Bullseye. Chug chug chug. Bullseye didn't stop his movements when he heard the sound, and turned to ask, has everything been done? Everything has been done. There is a certain tenant who refuses to move out, and he is still clamoring that he will fight the evil to the end. Of course we are not used to it, a beating. So what if he has a hard bone? He's still kneeling in front of us. If that's the case, let's discount the compensation. The original price was 100,000 yuan. I'll just give it 5,000 yuan. Bullseye ordered, as soon as these words came out. Not just the one who spoke. Even the younger brothers around him looked at each other in shock. You must know that the demolition compensation for this land is worth millions of dollars. Now the boss actually only gave me a fraction. Really, I really deserve to be respected by boss Wilson. We'll do it immediately. The gangster boy wisely turned around and left, but before they could go far, he let out a burst of hoarse screams. Monster. What a scary monster. It was accompanied by some weird tearing sounds. After Bullseye saw this situation, he frowned instinctively. Is it the recent appearance of masked superheroes causing trouble? Some time ago, the news of the Red Vigilantes appearing in Hell's Kitchen had already spread to all gang organizations. It is precisely because of this incident. Only Kingpin would send Bullseye out to patrol, which has a sense of calming down the situation. Bang. The factory door was pushed open forcefully. The gangster boy who ran out earlier fled in a hurry, repeating. Monsters, monsters, monsters. Crack. 
he fell hard to the ground, but did not dare to stop and crawled up on his hands and feet. Suddenly, his figure paused. Immediately afterwards, it was as if something was dragging me into the darkness. It can be judged from the flashing picture. That turned out to be, a hand. Just in time for the bullseye gaze. An eye was opened on the giant hand. The eyes were empty, dead, and desperate, exuding a chilling coercion. The next second, the huge amounts of the palm were completely displayed in front of Bullseye, its ferocious knuckles, the skin exuding a terrifying purple energy, the shiny cuticle, and the fleshy foam that was constantly dripping blood. All craziness that makes people cringe. Even Bullseye, a well-informed top killer, was stunned in place. But Slaughter took advantage of this gap to quickly recover its figure and ejected towards the window on the side. It didn't care who was coming. It just wants to escape from this ghost place. Close. Getting closer. Just when the massacre smashed the window and was about to plunge into the dark sky of the outside world. Wow. A hand suddenly stretched out, as if grabbing the throat of fate, and pinched the symbiote in the air. Carnage kept struggling to escape. But the owner of the palm held it tightly. Let it twist in the air. Bullseye looked up and watched the man grab the disgusting creature with a playful look on his face, knowing that he had encountered a tough situation. In addition, there was a strange big hand around, which made him feel that the situation was not good. Maybe, we can talk. Bullseye forced a smile from his face. Of course, but only if you survive. Right, Susano. Lizon pointed to the huge palm. Bullseye's expression changed drastically when he heard this. Chapter 11 Wow! As the huge hand called, Susano began to move. Bullseye was caught in the process of running away and hunting. Although he is a top killer. But he is not good at parkour in the factory. Only a few seconds had passed. He fell into a dangerous situation. If I had a choice. I really want to fight that daredevil. Instead of this weirdo who came out of nowhere. Bullseye is a pure human being. Where have you ever encountered such a strange situation? My whole body felt numb. But he had to run away in a hurry, like a poor little mouse. At this time, he realized the feelings of civilians who were tortured and killed in the past. He felt like he was being teased mercilessly. Like a guinea pig. Angry. Angry. Nothing can be done. I'll fight you. The bullseye glanced at the man who was masturbating to carnage. The next second, he chose to attack the man. Passive defense. Not his style. Bullseye thought that the weirdo in front of him might be easier to deal with than the weird hand, so he swooped over. And as the distance gets closer, he could see the man in front of him standing there blankly, not even taking a defensive posture. I knew this fool was not good at melee combat. Bullseye was ecstatic in his heart, and he raised the firearm in his hand and fired continuously. Bang, 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 dozens of bullets sprayed out. Lean on the man. Bullseye was shooting crazily and shouting, Go to hell, go to hell. Just after he fired all the bullets, the man in front of him was not dead. Instead, he raised his palm and made a gesture. Immediately afterwards, crack down hard. It's like slashing someone with a knife. Fooling Xuanshu. Bullseye raised the gun again in disbelief, but before he could shoot again, his hand softened and the weapon hit the ground. What's going on? Bullseye looked down only to find that his entire palm had fallen to the ground. Blood spurted out from the wound. How is this possible? That man just made a gesture and got hurt. It must be an illusion. Bullseye shook his head, but he never expected that. The broken hand was just the first symptom. His legs gave out and he fell to the ground. He looked back and saw blood spurting out of his calf, which was split open from the Achilles tendon. This time even his legs were cut off and you can't even see how to make a move. Bullseye felt his head buzzing, and his face was full of horror. What exactly did you do? How can you hurt me? Bullseye no longer looked like he was winning. Collapsed to the ground. Like a pathetic creature. Lee Zon did not explain too much, he just said. Devils are born out of nothing. Bang. The bullseye died in response. The whole body exploded. You must know that Li Zan's gesture with his hand before was not a random move, but a move using the magic sword. As the terrifying sword energy of the demonic sword circulated in Bullseye's body, the life force in his body was wiped out in a short period of time. EMMMMM. Slaughter was still struggling at first, 
but after seeing Bullseye's tragic situation, he became as obedient as a chai. I don't even dare to move. But the man in front of him did not let it relax. Instead, he kindly controlled the giant hands to carry the broken bodies. When Slaughter saw this, he was trembling with fear. OMG, isn't this weirdo going to eat me? Its dark red skin began to squirm. But the next second, carnage was thrown into it. Lee Zon said with a smile on his face, Are you hungry? Do you want to have a meal? Slaughter, I feel like I'm in a dream. S.H.I.E.L.D. is affiliated with the hospital. A mess. As Captain Steve, Hawkeye and Black Widow were being pulled to bandage their wounds for treatment. Agent Fitz picked up the mess. Although he learned some new ideas for improving the agent's armor by studying Venom's body structure. But it was also because he was too aggressive and injected modified drugs that caused the Venom to escape. This was a big mistake. If director Nick hadn't personally spoken and helped him shoulder most of the responsibility, he might have been pulled outside and shot. But the sequelae and troubles are not small. Agent Fitz has to submit an answer that satisfies director Shield within a few days. Otherwise, Captain Steve's anger alone is enough to make him eat a pot. And just when he was inspecting the damage to the instruments in the laboratory and preparing to declare new materials, there was an abnormal sound near the cold and damp drainage pipe. Agent Fitz stepped forward and got closer to see clearly. What's there at the sewer outlet? Wow, a dark shadow flashed. But a familiar sticky black object popped out. It instantly sprayed out a substance like spider silk to entangle it. Before Fitz could come to his senses. Then Peter jumped out of the vent and jumped from the ceiling. Doctor, how dare you experiment on my suit? I must make you pay the price. Peter leaned closer and whispered in his ear like a devil whispering. Fitz's heart dropped when he heard this. Maybe, we can talk. Then Agent Fitz from S.H.I.E.L.D. opened his mouth to explain something. But he was punched hard by Peter. Bang, just for a moment. He was beaten so hard that stars appeared in his eyes and he was in a daze. But Peter didn't want it to end so easily. He then ejected the spider silk and hung him upside down. He also ordered Venom to strip the agent naked. He raised his camera and took a picture of his embarrassment. Dot, I won't let you go. Fitz's eyes were about to burst when he saw this, and his face turned red with anger. Crack, Peter walked up and slapped him twice, then leaned closer and said. This is just the beginning. I will destroy what you care about. I want to see how you stay in the future. You won't succeed. Fitz was furious and wanted to say something, but Peter slapped him and knocked him out. I don't know how long I slept. As his consciousness gradually became clearer. What caught his eye was a familiar brazed egg head. Nick, Director Nick, Fitz said respectfully. But the black director did not show a smile when he heard this. Instead, he waved his hand and said solemnly. That mutant Spider-Man has caused us a lot of trouble. He has now published a piece of news that slanders S.H.I.E.L.D. and also published your nude photos. Now the internet is in turmoil. We have a public relations department that can minimize the impact. Fitz said hurriedly after hearing this. I have already arranged for people to deal with it, but the work is not worth the effort. If you can't produce some results, your job position needs to be adjusted. Director Nick spoke, and in a few words he decided Fitz's fate. The young agent's complexion turned livid in an instant. He understood the threat in the director's words. What if he couldn't develop a suitable weapon? He will be abandoned and he ended up like the butcher, expelled from S.H.I.E.L.D. Perhaps even worse, because he also offended several Avengers members. In three days at most, I will give you an answer sheet. Fitz forced out a smile and made a promise to the brazed egghead in front of him. Is there enough time? Is it too tight? I can give you two more days. Director Nick had a hypocritical smile on his face and greeted him cordially. That's enough, that's enough. I don't dare to live up to the director's expectations. Fitz also laughed when he heard this, but his smile was too stiff. Just like a puppet on strings. In the middle of the night. Inside Hell's Kitchen. In a cold factory. The originally bloody venue looked as if it had been brushed by dozens of cleaners, so clean that no trace of blood could be seen. And as the initiator, Slaughter also burped. This is the most filling meal he has ever eaten. It's a great meal. The system's lifting sound also sounded. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the Feast of Massacre and starting to settle rewards. 
Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining Fengyun, Xuanwu True Skill, Top 10 Martial Arts. Ding, the massacre is detected and I am in awe and fear of you. This reward will be doubled for critical hits. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining Naruto, Immortal Technique. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining Naruto, Asura Blood Succession Limit. Did you actually obtain the Xuanwu True Skill this time? And it can also upgrade my qualifications. Buy one, get two free. Li Zan's eyes lit up. At this moment, he has collected Ni Feng's standard equipment, but he doesn't know much about the explosive moves. The magic knife is a move that can hurt others and yourself. If combined with Crazy Kilin's blood, it will be easy to kill all the enemies on the scene without leaving anyone behind. Killing decisively is a good thing. But if you have all the fun and don't distinguish between friends and foes, it will be a bit unsatisfactory. But this Xuanwu true skill is different. Even in the later stages of the storm, the world of relatively high martial arts can still occupy a place. Because this Xuanwu true skill was left behind by the top 10 warriors of a generation of wizards. Among them, the killing move Invincible in 10 Directions has a potential that is not inferior to that of Maha Wuliang. After the move is unfolded, it is almost beheaded. With the nearly immortal half-dragon Duan Lang, Nifang could slay the dragon by himself if it weren't for the inertia of the plot. Not to mention the subsequent Hokage Immortal Technique. Just a 24-hour power bank. After mastering Immortal Technique, not only can the naked eye see natural energy, but the body can also absorb natural energy. In this case, Li Zan can make himself stronger every moment. This is similar to Superman's ability to absorb sunlight and become stronger. As for the Asura blood inheritance limit, it is a key to liberating the body's potential. After all, Li Zan had already absorbed the bloodline of Indra before. Plus this kind of bloodline limit. The two are superimposed on each other. It also allows him to break through his own bottlenecks. Possess the qualifications of a six-path immortal. Although he is only the eldest son born to Kegaya Otsutsuki in the ninja world, his old mother has absorbed the fruit of the sacred tree and is the strongest existence in the world. Is this another character who became a god relying on the treasures of heaven and earth? It's, it's so shameful. Li Zan originally wanted to practice martial arts hard until his martial arts broke through the void, but he didn't want to accept this kind of victory. But, free prostitution is so delicious. Is this something you can win without struggling? You can also lie down to the so-called level of God in the small world. How about giving it a try? Li Zan chose the system's reward. Let's start with Feng Yun's Xuanwu true skill. With a flash of emerald green light, he mastered the secret book of high martial arts from the world of wind and cloud. As soon as he specialized in it, he felt the internal force in his body gathering and compressing into a higher concentration of energy. If Li Zan's original energy intensity was 10, now this once transformed, it becomes 100, enhanced 10 times. As his strength increased, the dense energy in his body gathered and condensed into a projectile in his dantian, reaching the level of a land god. If it were placed in ancient times, he can already become an immortal and an ancestor. And Li Zan hurriedly received a mortal technique and Asura blood succession limit. These two rewards are even more terrifying. Originally, the Indra bloodline that Li Zan absorbed was extremely yin and pure, but this Asura bloodline was extremely strong and strong. Yin and yang meet. The effect can be far greater than any one item alone. Like thunder. Like a tsunami raging. Boom. Boom. The blood in Li Zan's body gradually transformed. This is a big step forward. As his transformation is completed, powerful energy waves are released. The steel beam was broken. Let this factory collapse and turn into ruins. Cough, cough, cough. It was slaughter that climbed up from the ruins first. It shrank into a ball and was carefully pointing with its tentacles, but it didn't dare to look far away. It is only a few days old. Why go through these intimidations? Slaughter carefully stuck out its head, just as it was thinking about whether to run away. Dark clouds cover the sun. The wind was blowing hard. Thunder and lightning gathered in the sky. It fell towards the factory. Carnage almost himself, although it has greater potential than venom, and of the symbiote's two weaknesses, sound waves and fire, it is immune to sound waves, but fire still serves as his weakness, and even a certain degree of high temperature can make him weak. 
and witnessed with his own eyes the galloping thunder and lightning falling from the sky. Hit the ruins hard, just seeing it, it's shocking. What is even more amazing is that after the thunder and lightning struck down, they intertwined and condensed into a violent thunder unicorn. Li Zan slowly rose from the ruins. As he stepped on the thunder and lightning, the thunder unicorn seemed to become its assistant, coming alive. This is the ultimate form of thunder escape, the thunder unicorn. Originally he didn't know this kind of trick. But if you can't stand this man, he will cheat. As the blood in his body returned to its ancestors, he gained the Tao and techniques inherent in the power of the sacred tree. Various types of ninjutsu techniques emerged from Li Zan's mind. Seek Dao Jade, Yin Yang Escape, Three Heads and Six Arms. Arrow of Indra, Six Paths Super Large Jade Spiral Shuriken. Six Paths Earth Exploding Stars. Immortal Dharma would release true thousands of hands transformation into Buddha on top. The sky is hindering the earthquake star. Eight Gate Dunjia Yi Kai. In this art like stars. He chose a thunder unicorn to try. Unexpectedly, I found that the effect is not bad. And this is only the second time he has helped others and helped the villain. If it is the third, fourth, or fifth time, it will make him reach such shocking strength. Li Zan was so excited that he rubbed his hands together, black and white luster emerged, compressed the lightning unicorn into his palm, and then swallowed it in one gulp. But he didn't wait for the power in his hand to dissipate. Shu Shu Shu, the slaughter that was originally huddled in the corner shook its head and appeared in front of Li Zan. As he carefully stretched out his tentacles to explore the room, he even expressed his intention to be touched by Li Zan. What does this mean? Although Li Zan was puzzled, he reached out and took the little massacre into his hands and folded it up. One time, two times, the black and white power also fell into the symbiote. Just seven or eight strands. It made the massacre expand in a circle. And the palm is as big as a ball. This caused the massacre to change from light red to blood red, sweeping away the decline and becoming extremely aggressive. It's because of the deficit caused by premature birth, so, does it need external help to make up for it? Li Zan stretched out his hand to form a seal, leaving a Tai Chi mark on its head, then patted the massacre and said. Then go hunt evildoers, I want you to completely muddy the waters of Hell's Kitchen, and when you complete the task, I will give you more rewards. Thank you, sir. Slaughter spoke in an unskilled tone, with a full milky voice. After a while, he left Li Zan's hands, but turned back to look at him step by step, and finally disappeared around the corner. For it, the man in front of me is such a good person. Not only did he feed it, but he also made it a lot stronger. This kind of, selfless, behavior adds a strong color to the massacre of young minds. Make him stand in awe. And Slaughter did go all out to complete the task assigned by Li Zan. The night is dark now. Inside Hell's Kitchen, the third-rate forces of the Riant family are trading white noodles. Although there were only about ten people, they were all holding guns and looking serious. After the Hand and the Kingpin cooperated to carve up the underground trading place in Hell's Kitchen. Life has become difficult for these small gangs. A lot of effort. I can only pick up some leftovers to eat. And in this extreme environment, it also tests people's bottom line. Fake squid. The leader suddenly cursed. You fools, you actually fooled me with defective products. He found out. The small group on the opposite side saw that something was wrong. Just shoot. The two sides started fighting. Just when they were fighting in full swing. Slaughter controlled the symbiote's skin to grow into the image of a blood-armored warrior. The two knives transformed into two hands were two meters long. As the legs exerted force and suddenly fell from the air, they could complete beheadings in an instant. There were wailings all around, and this sudden blow made this already restless area even more bloody and violent. Gouda, right at the sewer, there was a pair of black, shiny eyes watching. You can see it through the corner of the streetlight, it is a green turtle man. This is no one else. It was Michelangelo, Mikey from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He swallowed his saliva and thought with shock on his face, where did this monster come from again? As a, friendly, resident who grew up in New York City. Although it has been living in the sewer. But this does not prevent Mikey from becoming an upright young man. He likes reading comics, sleeping, and skateboarding. Except for the weird shape. 
Mikey even thought that he was no different from human beings, but when he saw the massacre and frantic harvesting of human heads in front of him, he instinctively felt fear and timidity. What if I faced it? Will he be killed instantly? Can Master Mouse win? Mackie suddenly felt chills all over his body, and in the few seconds he pondered, there was no longer a living person in the original trading place, and Slaughter squatted down and cleaned up the mess. Its bloody mouth was like a deformation. Like an alien, the hellish scene that follows becomes even more frightening. The turtle man broke through his defenses in an instant, turned around and rushed towards the sewer. His bulky body burst out at extremely fast speeds, and disappeared under the moonlight in just a few seconds. Strange turtle, I don't know, if it tastes good. Slaughter raised his head, thinking with imperfect values, and then shook his head, it's more important to complete your mission first. Crash. After passing through the dense and narrow sewer. In the deepest part of that pipe. But there is a place suitable for people to live. But the camp was not peaceful at the moment. Because all three teenage mutant ninja turtles sneaked out to play. That made Mr. Splinter so angry. I saw this big rat holding a ninja stick, standing at the edge of the door, scolding. The human world is very dangerous. Why do you still go to the surface after warning so many times? Leo. Please kneel down. As the leader of a four-person team, how can you lead the team? Crack. The ninja turtle, who was carrying two katanas and wearing a blue eye patch, knelt down in response. Behind him, the man holding a pair of iron forks was still snickering. But then Mr. Splinter hit him with a ninja stick. Clang. This one was also punished to kneel. Just when Waifu was angry, he raised his head and swept the corridor in front of him, and said with some realization, Donnie, I didn't bring you any electronic equipment. You must have been the one to tell the truth. I don't. Donnie, the smartest inventor among the four turtles, retorted. It was the master who discovered your little trick. How many times have I tried it and I still don't have a long memory? It must be you. Waifu was furious when he heard this, but after receiving two more blows from his master, he lowered his head and became honest for the time being. So where did Mikey go? Teacher Splinter waved the long stick in his hand and continued to ask. I don't know, but he told me that he was going to steal comics. Leo looked up and said. Mr. Splinter's face turned green when he heard this. Good guy, this turtle is too big to leave anyone alone. The wings are stiff. They actually went to the human world to steal things. No, he told me that he wanted to go skateboarding. Donnie noticed that something was wrong with the situation and hurriedly spoke to mediate. Hum, the big rat waved the ninja stick in his hand without answering, his smile showing a coldness. It's over, the boss said something wrong and the fourth boss will be beaten. Donnie stood in the corner and prayed for him in his heart. Clang, just in time, at the center of the discussion among the turtles, Mikey rushed out of the sewer pipe with a panic look on his face, swooped down, and landed in front of Mr. Splinter. If you don't study well, you still have to steal things, how good are the comics? Crackling, ninja sticks kept flying in the air. Hit him, if it were in the past. Mikey had been jumping up and down in pain, constantly begging for mercy, but at this moment he was in shock, but he raised his head and muttered, it's over, it's over, something is going to happen. It's bad, the master beat the fourth child stupidly. Waifu suddenly jumped up from the ground, ran quickly, hugged Mikey, and blocked the stick education for him. Tell me, what happened? When Mr. Splinter saw this, he temporarily put away the ninja stick and asked. Mikey's face was dull. He raised his head and glanced at everyone, and said in a daze, Blood, it's all blood. A murderer appeared in New York City. Fourth brother, please make it clear. Waifu stretched out his hand and patted the man in front of him on the shoulder constantly, just under his, calling of love. Mikey gradually calmed down. Then he told what he had seen and heard before. After listening to his narration, the three ninja turtles and one ninja rat were silent. After a while, it was the hot-headed and hot-blooded waifu who spoke again. He said, this is a fool's cannibal world. People are dying all the time. The murderers are just slightly stronger individuals. I'm not afraid. He. Leon nodded when he heard this, and he continued, no matter who it is, I will protect my brothers. Teacher Splinter put the ninja stick behind him stretched out his hand to stroke Mikey's head and said, there is a lot of danger outside, but don't panic. We are a unit, 
and the combined strength can break through stubborn rocks. He was still speaking as always from the Riddler and Chicken Soup Master. But after what the Mouse Master said, the moods of these four turtles have improved a lot. Drinking chicken soup is a beautiful thing. But afterwards, Donnie, the maintenance genius among the turtles, returned to his room and tinkered with the damaged LCD monitor. Mr. Splinter's words didn't give him much confidence. He plans to rely on his talent to link up the monitoring network around the camp for real-time monitoring. In this case, even if some murderer attacks, you can also prepare early. His hands flew up and down in the dense lines, making this old instrument glow with new life again. Yes, yes, we can monitor the surrounding environment in the future. Donnie waved his fist in the air, but just as he was celebrating, smoke suddenly appeared from the line behind the screen. No, 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 Donnie hurriedly took the vise and started repairing it. Although he grinned from the electric shock, it did not hinder his repair. After some tinkering, the display page became normal. Call, it's settled. Donnie leaned on the chair, but as he adjusted the angle of the surveillance. In those 20 surveillance images, he saw an unusual one. He saw the entire factory collapse in an instant. He saw thunder and lightning gathering. He saw a terrifying Keelin roaring. He saw a man standing proudly like a god. This, how is this possible? How is it possible that this kind of ninjutsu exists? Donnie has studied ninja with Mr. Splinter for many years and has his own understanding of this skill. It is an assassination skill. It is a close combat skill. You can never fly to the sky or escape from the earth. But the man in front of him just made a few simple seals and summoned thunder and lightning, and even transformed into a thunder unicorn. Is everything we learned before false? Donnie felt a strong impact on his outlook on life. Dong dong dong. That's when. There were calls from outside the door. Donnie, it's time to eat. The chef is cooking today. There are delicious udon noodles. New. Donnie agreed, then thought about something, and hurriedly turned back and shouted, Don't eat yet, something serious has happened, go and call the master over. Something big happened. Waifu shook his head and asked, Is there anything bigger than eating noodles? I don't believe it. You must be playing tricks on me. This idiot. Donnie almost had three black lines on his face, but he could only explain, I discovered the real ninjutsu, the one that can summon thunder and lightning. Clang. There was silence for a few seconds. Immediately afterwards, the door of the dormitory was pushed open violently. Waifu said enthusiastically, Donnie, please tell me what you found. Take a look at this first. What's so good about a run-down factory? Waifu reached over his head and took a few glances. After finding that the scene had not changed, he turned away with a look of disgust. He finally figured it out. It must be this smart brother who is fooling his own IQ again. Snort, if you play tricks on me next time, I will definitely ask you to duel. Waifu glanced at the screen one last time. Then, the picture changes. The factory exploded, and the thunder and lightning gathered in the man's hands, as if they were alive, changing postures in the air, roaring again and again. This, this is a seal, is this an ninjutsu? He could never take his eyes off him again. As the thunder unicorn roared, thunder waves spread out, damaging the surveillance camera. Wei Fu was so angry that he slapped his thigh. Why is it gone? Why is it so short? I really want to see this legendary ninjutsu. Hurry up and call the master. Donnie spoke and pushed his younger brother out of the door unceremoniously. It's really too much. Waifu felt that he was just a big injustice. But the video of Lei Qilin really piqued his interest. Waifu ran quickly and dragged the other two brothers and the master over. If you don't give me a good reason, I will definitely beat you up. Mr. Splinter said angrily, as he glanced around. The three turtles lowered their heads. Only Waifu shouted heartlessly. It will definitely look good. I'm sure, although this is an ordinary factory, but my god, it exploded. Look, thunder and lightning, there is a man controlling thunder and lightning. Seal, this is ninjutsu, this is the legendary way of ninja. Just after this video has finished playing, Mikey's mouth was the largest, almost splitting to the base of his ears. He stretched out his fingers and said tremblingly, no, it's impossible. Leo, the boss of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, was also shocked, but he turned around and asked Master Mouse, is this really something that ninjutsu can do? 
Teacher Splinter acted even more exaggeratedly. He kept rubbing his eyes with his hands and muttering. I have been practicing ninjutsu for so many years. Could it be that what I practice is all fake? And this is the real thing. Good guy, even Master Mouse is numb this time. Waifu's eyes widened and he said to Donnie, look at the good things you have done. When Donnie heard this, the corner of his mouth twitched, and he ignored the fool in front of him and said, Master, what do you think we should do? Crack, the ninja stick Ben was holding in Mr. Splinter's hand had fallen to the ground. He glanced at the four turtle sons in front of him and said, If you can, the truth will follow this lord's way of ninja. Master, are you not sick? The other four were also shocked when they heard this. This is different from his usual rigid and conservative behavior. Could it be that Master Mouse has damaged his brain? Such a brilliant way of ninja, don't you want to pursue it? Master Splinter said over his shoulder. He is different from these turtles whose minds have not yet matured. He has already tasted all the joys and sorrows of this world. During the years when they were just beginning to become wise. It was the big mouse who worked hard to raise the four turtles. And Ren said, in Mr. Splinter's mind, fighting skills have long ceased to exist. It is a spiritual pursuit. It's faith. How could anyone have seen that gorgeous ninja Dao? Can you still resist pursuing it? For a long time, we have chosen a passive closed door attitude. Now we have to change our policy. Master Splinter looked back at the four turtles and said. Then what should we do? Leo asked, not questioning the teacher's decision. We have to take the initiative. Master Splinter finished speaking and turned his attention to Donnie. Donnie understood what the teacher meant. He lowered his head and fiddled with the surveillance video and said, This place is not far from us, it is also three blocks away. Should we go search it now? Master Splinter nodded, It's better sooner rather than later. If such a big movement is discovered by the relevant human departments, it will be in trouble. Click. The camera shutter sounds. As citizens of New York City discovered that the factory had collapsed, they called the police. The police were not the first to arrive at the scene. Instead, it was the reporter April. Thanks to the news that exposed Spider-Man a few days ago, she not only received a promotion in her position, but also had a special car with dedicated personnel to conduct interviews. This news was tipped off by her friends in the police district, so she could arrive first. It would take 15 minutes at the fastest from the police dispatch to here. She and her partner planned to complete the investigation within 10 minutes, and compile the first-hand information into tomorrow's headlines. There are no traces of gunpowder, no traces of explosions, it just looked like it was destroyed by a hurricane. It's like mutant super ability. After speaking, Fern became a little excited, this is big news. April was a little excited after hearing this, but then she was attracted by the unusual movement in the sewer not far behind her. It was like a creature flashed past. Am I dazzled? After April said hello to her colleagues, she walked towards the place where the previous abnormality had occurred. She was already standing at the entrance of the sewer, looking down at the dark water pipe. It's like staring into the abyss. She felt a little weak. But after a while, nothing happened. Maybe I'm overthinking. April turned around and left. After she walked away a short distance, the green and black eyes opened and closed. Waifu stuck his head out patted his forehead, and sighed, it always feels familiar. You idiot, what are you looking at? Come on, the fourth child, Mikey, shouted not far behind him. Waifu hurriedly turned around and chased after him. It is worthy of being an extraordinary creature that has opened up its wisdom. In a short period of time, they have searched the scene. Unfortunately, except for a few pieces of broken clothes, they have not found anything else. However, through the analysis of the inventor Donnie, it is very likely that it is. What the ninja god is wearing, needs to be tested. Even before Li Zan knew it, the combination of four turtles and a mouse has taken a liking to him and worshipped him as the god of ninja. And I want to follow it to the death. Dawn on the second day. When the sun shines on the earth again. Female reporter April also released another sensational news in New York City. A thunderstorm destroys the factory. Another powerful mutant descends on New York City. Close double angle bracket. She described the power of the thunderstorm, vividly. If it happened in the urban area, it would cause immeasurable losses. After all, 
not everyone can resist Electro's motors like Spider-Man without changing his face. They will die. It's like a sharp knife hanging over the residents' heads who doesn't know when it will fall. The people who had only been settled for two days were plunged into panic again. Inside S.H.I.E.L.D. When Captain Steve saw the news, his face turned gloomy. He pinched the bridge of his nose and said, During this period, more and more powerful ability users have appeared. We must strengthen our team, otherwise we will not be able to protect the people. Quote. Not enough to protect the people. Iron Man laughed out loud after hearing this, and said, Relax, Captain, my armor is enough to deal with all dangers. Enough to face all dangers. Captain Steve was furious when he saw the Playboy's careless look. He asked, Just one spider demon has made us so miserable. Where do you have the confidence? Don't forget that he escaped from you. Iron Man stood up and exposed it unceremoniously. If he still dares to come over, I will let him never come back. By the way, I have to go to my pool party, so that's all for today. After the flamethrower is activated, Tony flew into the sky in the Mark III. This look of a playboy did not put Captain Steve in his eyes at all. His face has turned dark. And at this time, Captain Steve then remembered his former companion, the Butcher. Compared with this playboy, the Butcher is more reliable. Although he is a ruthless killer, he is also protecting the people. We should give him more patience, let him learn to use love to influence those super criminals. He pondered and began to reminisce about the past again. Hawkeye was also a little touched after hearing this. He was an agent who obeyed orders. He had killed people in previous infiltration missions, but he was not as unabashed as the butcher. Evil people should end up in hell. Why should a soldier with such firm belief be given up by Director Nick? He shook his head and didn't understand. But there was still regret in my heart. Tap tap tap. At this moment when the atmosphere was gradually freezing, Agent Hill opened the door and walked in. She looked at everyone and said a piece of good news. Considering the current situation, Director Nick has recruited another super ability talent, as a partner of the Avengers. As soon as she finished speaking, a researcher wearing a blue shirt and black-rimmed glasses walked in. He looked at everyone and said hello. Is this a weapons developer? Hawkeye said jokingly. Let him explain to you. Agent Hill said, you can call me Dr. Banner. The man spoke, and then added, I am a combatant, but trust me, you don't want to see me angry. Ha 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 ha. The members of the Avengers all laughed. The atmosphere was peaceful. Captain Steve also patted Dr. Banner on the shoulder and said, welcome to join. Agent Hill did not laugh. She knew how powerful power was hidden under the peaceful appearance of the man in front of her. Even if no one stops it. Just him alone. Just destroy New York City. It's going to be a double-edged sword. As for the S.H.I.E.L.D. Weapons Research and Development Department, after Fitz issued the military order, he fell into a state of frantic work. He did not want to be an abandoned chess piece. It was also under this strong sense of oppression that he broke out into an amazing display. Ability. On the first day, Fitz initially designed a prototype of a battle suit. The next day, Fitz made structural adjustments to the newly designed suit. On the third day, Fitz selected the materials and reorganized them according to the symbiote's body structure. It was also on the night of the third day. Fitz presented the design suit to Director Nick. He had deep dark circles under his eyes, but he straightened his waist and pointed at his uniform and said proudly. Although it is not possible to fully demonstrate the effect I studied in a short period of time, the effect of this first generation suit is also amazing. It can not only enhance the user's combat effectiveness by more than twice, but also greatly improve the user's physical strength. Speed, in theory, allows ordinary soldiers to reach 100 meters in 8 seconds. What if Captain Steve puts on this suit? Director Nick asked. Fitz thought for a moment and replied, then Captain Steve may be able to settle a war alone. Agent Fitz, you did a great job. Director Nick was very excited when he heard this. He said to his men, Call Captain Steve to the training ground, and we will test the effectiveness of the suit tonight. During this whole process, although Agent Fitz acted very calmly, but there was a fire in his eyes. He can't wait to see his scientific research results change everyone's perception of him. He wants to be punished and make meritorious service. Just when he was excited, 
he accidentally glanced and seemed to see a pair of black shiny eyes staring at him from inside the ventilation duct. Another blink. The eyes disappeared again. I. Am I hallucinating? You can read more daily new novels on fictionzone.net. Both sites shared the same login details so you don't need to sign up again. When Captain Steve received the training ground to test the new equipment, he did not show much excitement. He was like a peace advocate. First he sighed and lamented that world peace is not easy, and then followed the agent's guidance, came to the training ground. After a few people exchanged pleasantries, Steve put on the black suit and started testing ability. Originally, he had peak human physical fitness. With the blessing of this pirated symbiote suit, there are also huge amounts of improvement, reaching 1.5 peak human ability. Especially when Captain Steve pulled out two tons of force with a dynamometer in his hand, Director Nick's face turned red. This, the effect improvement is too obvious. Brazed Dantu said. I have already imagined all the members of the Avengers wearing this suit. They have all become little supermans. What a butcher. What a mutant. Killing indiscriminately. Just when he was thinking happily. Fitz fell into panic. He pointed to the ventilation duct not far away and shouted, Monster, there is a monster hidden in there. After hearing this, everyone was stunned. Director Nick frowned and motioned to the agent beside him to take a look. Click. The ventilation duct was opened. But no abnormalities were found. Captain Steve thought he was joking and said, Agent Fitz, even if you develop the equipment, you can't deceive everyone. But Fitz couldn't bear the accusation. He squatted down and curled up with his head in his hands. No, I didn't lie. It's true. But Captain Steve insisted, but the monster didn't appear. It must be because you have been too tired recently. Take a good rest. After hearing this, Fitz also fell into self-denial. Am I really suspicious? With the help of the agent on the side, he stood up and walked towards the outside of the training ground. Director Nick looked at him and secretly speculated, have I put too much pressure on Fitz recently, causing him to go insane? Since this research and development has been effective, then I should also give him some preferential treatment. After all, he is a treasure. Just as he was thinking, Captain Steve on the opposite side raised the shield in his hand with a look of horror on his face, and even assumed an attack stance towards him. What's going on? Is there an enemy attack? Director Nick took a deep breath and reached out to hold the firearm at his waist, but before he could shoot. Crash. Two sticky black tentacles had wrapped around his waist. A feeling of weightlessness came. Nick was spinning for a while, and when he came back to his senses, he had been thrown into the air. The smelly tongue swirled around his head, and the venom opened its bloody mouth. It's sure to be a good meal. Going to suffer. Director Nick was shocked when he saw this, but Nihi's arms were tied and he couldn't fire a gun to fight back. He could only watch as he got closer and closer to the bloody mouth. Boom. There was a crackling sound. At this critical moment. Director Nick gritted his teeth and said. You forced me. I will definitely make you pay the price. Immediately afterwards. He detonated a bomb hidden in his trouser pocket. After the explosion, he and Venom were forced to separate. Venom was covering his head and howling in pain because of the fire and explosion. Director Nick, however, held the bloody thigh and looked at it with grief and indignation. In this small explosion, his lower body was bruised and bloody. Even the second brother was hit hard. Although since he turned 80, this thing has become useless. But that doesn't mean Director Nick can tolerate this happening. If he hadn't been, restrained and could only move his fingers, Nick would not have ended up like this. Captain Steve, I want you to teach this fool a lesson. He roared. Definitely. Whoa. The shield shining with the five-star pattern flew out in an instant, and then Steve pounced on him, knocking the venom back again and again before he could react. In the last battle with the spider demon, this Steve is not yet able to exert such combat power. But who upgraded him? but it has enhanced half of my strength. Steve felt that his confidence had greatly increased, and he felt that he could easily deal with this enemy. The next second, Venom's claws hit the sound-absorbing shield hard. But unfortunately, he was blown away instead. Well done. Director Nick collapsed on the ground and raised his fist, completely unaware of the crisis coming behind him. 2. Now that the Venom is here, how could Spider-Man Peter not come? Boom. A figure flashed past, followed by a flying kick. 
Director Nick was kicked out and had two teeth knocked out, and then he was hit hard by a punch. His eyes darkened and he fainted. It's you, Peter Parker. Captain Steve exclaimed, and then added, You fool, you still dare to come to S.H.I.E.L.D. and run wild, I won't let you leave easily. Yeah, a crazy smile appeared on Peter's face when he heard this, It's just right, I don't intend to let you go smoothly. Immediately afterwards, the Venom symbiote attacks at the same time as Peter. Following the two attacks one after another, Captain Steve got punched. Captain Steve got kicked. Captain Steve was knocked away. Different from the previously expected battle situation, Captain Steve was beaten and retreated continuously. It was also with this punch and kick that he recognized the reality. He is just a human being. He's just a super soldier. Fundamental, no way compared to these mutant superheroes. Captain Steve rarely cursed, and it was only at this time that he became more and more aware of the importance of his companions. If only, if only the Butcher were still around. According to his unparalleled sword skills. So what if the Spider Demon and Venom join forces, under that bloody and brutal sword technique, no matter who you are, there is only one destination. That is death, and in other words, killing people who are stained with blood and doing what a Butcher does has nothing to do with Comrade Shiaman. Even if he has to accept public condemnation, it is still his behavior alone. It's just a pity, that such a useful companion is missing. Steve sighed, his eyes full of gloom. Bang, right now. Spider-Man caught his flaw, punched him hard, and knocked him to the ground. This training ground was originally made of high-strength reinforced concrete. But at this moment, but he was dug into a deep hole. It was smashed out by Steve in the face. His cheeks were swollen, a lot of blood spilled from the corners of his mouth, and two broken teeth fell from his lips. You are really a powerful superhero, Spider Demon Peter said with praise, but his words were full of sarcasm. I could, fight you all day. Captain Steve mumbled these words out of his mouth, and stretched out his hands to help himself get up from the ground. But nothing, Peter reached out and pressed harder, already having broken pieces of concrete stuffed into Steve's mouth. And also at this time, Peter thought of something fun, and ordered Venom to take down the camera he usually used for photography, and then taught him to take pictures of Captain America being tortured. In the hearts of today's citizens, Captain Steve's reputation can be said to be irreplaceable. He is a figure who has been on the altar for decades. He is a saint, who lives on through word of mouth. If this picture of being beaten were made public, there will be an uproar. Maybe. Spider-Man can still rely on this opportunity to stand up again. Peter smiled crazily, and in the process he patted Steve's cheek and said, Captain, thank you so much. You, Steve was furious when he heard this, and he also saw what this fool did. Of course you know how powerful this photo is. Don't say anything else. It is a huge amount of blow to the free spirit that it symbolizes. Who made him die decades ago? Then, with the help of politicians and the media, he was established as a benchmark figure. Now, it has become a national idol. Knocked him out. It is undoubtedly a major blow to national morale. I, can, fight, with, you, for, a, whole, day. Steve stopped beating the ground crazily and raised his head halfway, looking directly at Peter with his angry eyes. Crack, Peter was laughing wildly and pushed him to the ground just like fish on the chopping board. Let others play with it. A sense of powerlessness nod at him. I don't want to lose either. Steve's face turned red with anger, he opened his mouth and vomited a mouthful of blood. Just as he was in a trance, he heard the hateful spider demon shouting, hurry, Venom, press the shutter, or you will miss this wonderful scene. Already. Steve's eyesight went dark, he couldn't hold on any longer, his consciousness sank, and he fainted. Captain. Captain, wake up quickly. In the dark. Calls came one after another. Steve reluctantly opened his eyes, and what he saw was Hawkeye's concerned gaze. Then, he felt his head being torn apart, and severe pain kept coming. I seem to have been knocked unconscious. How is Director Nick? Is he okay? While he was talking, however, Hawkeye showed a constipated expression. He pointed behind Steve and said, In fact, you are tied to him now. What? When Steve came back to his senses, he looked down. That scene that made people's blood boil appeared. His suit was stripped off. Nick's clothes were also stripped off. 
Two grown men were tied together by spider silk. This, this is such an unscrupulous operation. Captain Steve felt that his face was flushed and bleeding. He looked at his companions in front of him and wanted to curse. What does it mean to replace him with a new one in this situation? Isn't it shameful enough to dislike him? The eagle eye agent felt guilty after being stabbed by the resentful gaze, so he explained in a somewhat desperate manner, I also want to know if you were injured. So now do you have a satisfactory answer? Captain Steve gritted his teeth and responded. The Hawkeye agent nodded and said, I have already called the SHIELD medical staff. They will be here in two minutes at most. What? After Captain Steve heard this, his eyes suddenly went dark. If they could see themselves like this. That's not bad. He struggled wildly, trying to break through the limitations of the spider silk and struggle out. But after some hard work, the result was not achieved. Tap tap tap. There were also some footsteps outside the door. Captain Steve looked at Hawkeye with sadness in his eyes. He shouted, Knock me out quickly, I don't want to see their strange eyes. Let me hit you. Eagle Eye Agent heard this and shook his head. He said, You have been seriously injured. I will not hurt my companions. If you don't come, then I will. Captain Steve arched his buttocks with a look of grief and anger, and banged his head against the ground. One time, two times, blood continued to fall down his forehead. But at this critical moment, however, he did not achieve his goal as he wished. Instead, he became more sober under the influence of the sting. Captain Steve's face was full of bitterness, and Hawkeye couldn't bear to turn his head away. Zila, the door is open. A group of medical staff rushed over carrying steel frames. But what came into view was the scene of Captain America and the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. being tied together. Rao is that they are well-trained agents. Still amused by this absurd and funny appearance. Hawkeye gritted his teeth and managed to maintain the appearance of a cold-faced agent. Steve Agent, who had not yet fainted, also closed his eyes and pretended to sleep, but he was not in a relaxed mood. Instead, he squeezed out crystal drops of water from the corners of his eyes. It's so bullying. He felt social death. This subsequent series of actions also became Steve's lingering nightmare. He could sense the strange and burning gazes of the people around him. He could hear their murmurs of excited excitement. He even noticed two hands constantly crossing his body. As the captain of the once roaring agent team, current spiritual leader, Captain Steve has never been hit harder than this. Wait, Captain, he seems to be awake. Just when he felt extremely uncomfortable. The whispers of the medical staff around him frightened him so much that he closed his eyes and started pretending to sleep. Hurry, quickly put on the electric pacemaker. Another doctor on duty called and asked the agents to push a huge instrument over. They actually wanted to give Captain Steve electroshock treatment. After Hawkeye saw this posture, he twitched the corner of his mouth and said in a coquettish tone, perhaps we can adopt a gentler approach. After all, the captain is a super soldier, and his physical fitness is far beyond that of ordinary people. There is no need to do this. You are the combat agent. You know how to treat the hammer. The attending doctor responded with words. Hawkeye was stunned speechless. He could only quietly retreat behind him, praying in my heart. Captain, I wish you good luck. Zizizi. The pacemaker's current was adjusted to the maximum, and the attending doctor also issued the order at this moment. Start treatment. Zitsa. Zizizi. Captain Steve felt the powerful electric current penetrate into his body and pierce his internal organs. This feeling is like having your stomach opened. Use the hook to draw out the flesh and blood. But he didn't dare to open his eyes or wake up, thinking that he would have to wait until Director Nick died first. Otherwise, Steve felt like his face would be completely lost. He gritted his teeth and thought, preparing to fight this instrument to the end. Why is there still no response? The attending doctor frowned and looked confused. This was already the limit that ordinary people could bear. But Captain Steve didn't react at all. Is it because the current is not high enough? He patted his head and thought, this is a superhero. He has a strong body and strong tolerance, so he didn't react. If that's the case, then increase the current. The attending doctor told the agent next to him. After a while, the instrument was connected to wires and operated at high load. Zizizi. The current almost came out of the instrument. The attending doctor said with excitement, we are going to rescue Captain Steve. 
Zitsa, Zitsa, that violent current passed through the body. Captain Steve's chest hair was scorched black. It was pain that cannot be described in words. Even a well-trained super soldier like him almost collapsed. He was chanting about Hawkeye crazily in his mind. He's still my companion. He actually lets these doctors torment me. Don't you know how to take cover? If this continues, I will be beaten to death by them. Keep pumping the gas. The attending doctor issued the order again. This time, the electric shock pacemaker reached 200% overload operation. The strong current even made Captain Steve feel that his body was being penetrated, and even the control of his limbs disappeared in an instant. It was also at this moment that he finally couldn't bear it anymore and opened his eyes, looking straight around him. Oh my god, Captain Steve was saved by us. This modified stun gun is really useful, and our treatment method is right. Why does it stink so much? Peed, Captain Steve is incontinent in bed. They chirped. It was like a sharp blade, piercing Steve's heart. Even superheroes can't withstand this kind of physical and psychological double blow. Just when his eyes turned black, there was a groan of pain from the simple hospital bed not far away. Steve turned around and found that Director Nick had also woken up, and he was more seriously injured. The attending doctor persuaded him, Director Nick, your lower body was seriously injured. Even though your self-healing ability is very strong, you still have to urinate. The organ has been blasted and needs to be cultivated and implanted to be effective. Hiss. Captain Steve took a breath when he heard this. Although I knew he was seriously injured. But the doctor's treatment and diagnosis still exceeded his expectations. He cast a look of pity on Director Nick, and the emotion of sharing wheel and woe and sympathy slowly rose. Director Nick took a deep breath after hearing this and did not make any remarks. Instead, he reached out and pinched his chin and said, It's okay. I don't need it anyway. Hiss. This time it was the turn of two female nurses to take a deep breath. Is this news they can hear without paying? Um. Captain Steve was also stunned after hearing this. Although his biological age is 90 years old. But others are old-hearted. Unexpectedly, the director of Braised Eggs was a little loser. Poor director Nick. It turns out that his happiness has long since disappeared. Captain Steve thought so. Director Nick felt a little uncomfortable because of the gossipy eyes of everyone. He closed his eyes and began to rest. Zila, the iron door was pushed open. Tony Stark walked in with a stinking look on his face. When he saw the miserable state of Captain Steve and Director Nick, he patted his shoulders and said. Another defeat. You guys are too inferior. I think we might as well change our name to the Beaten Alliance. As soon as these words came out. Not just the person involved. Even these agents were filled with indignation, their eyes widened with anger, and they were very angry and wanted to take action. Captain Steve slapped the edge of the bed and almost stood up. In his opinion, Tony can be regarded as a companion, but now he is just making sarcastic remarks and adding insult to injury, which is really too much. Director Nick looked much calmer. He looked at the man in front of him and said, So, we invited you. As the famous Iron Man, you will definitely help us solve our troubles, right? This rhetorical move has the meaning of generalizing an army. Unexpectedly, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. admitted this failure. But don't you, Tony, claim to be able to solve any problem? I'd like to see how you respond. That's natural. Tony was stunned for a moment when he heard this, and then the smile on his face became brighter. He said, I even gave up the pool party just to come here to eliminate the influence. If we can't even subdue the spider demon, how can we talk about saving the world? Under Tony's explanation, he has laid a dragnet across New York City and launched specialized satellite monitoring to cooperate with Jarvis's entire network search. As long as Peter hasn't fled the city, he will definitely be discovered. Tony, how long do you expect it will take to catch this mouse? Director Nick asked. There will definitely be gains within 24 hours. Tony said confidently, in his opinion, this Spider-Man is just a supervillain who relies on his ability. Even he doesn't have the ability to escape the whole network's search. So what if he had defeated Captain Steve and Director Nick? Is he great? He is a genius researcher and can solve all problems. Steve, who was watching him, frowned. He knew clearly that the Spider-Demon was not an easy person. After all, 
he was very capable of lurking in the shield agent building without being discovered, not to mention that he was ruthless. Decisive, obviously planned. Tony, your plan may not work, Captain Steve said. You old stubborn who has been frozen for more than 70 years, what confidence do you have to deny me? Tony glanced condescendingly. Facts will prove whether what I said was wrong. Captain Steve didn't waste any time, but turned to look out the window. The night is dark. Inside that hell's kitchen, the massacre gradually swept the entire gang. Those who do good things praise. That's the red devil from hell. The bloody apostle from hell is murderous. Wherever he passes, there is no sign of life. What? You asked me why there is no blood. Of course the devil stuffed it into his mouth. The fat white man knelt down in the room, trembling all over and speaking at a loss. The remaining rationality in his eyes also decreased sharply in the process. The person looking at him was a more muscular bald man. He raised his head and said, The story is very exciting. But as far as I know, Daredevil is not a devil, he is just a blind man, and he can still eat isn't it human? Blind? No, the white man suddenly jumped up. He pointed at Wilson Kingpin in front of him and shouted, That is definitely not a human being. He is a devil in human skin. When he recalled the crazy killings of the massacre, he felt as if he had fallen into an ice cave. Think of this. The white man described it in increasingly confusing words. The devil holds two knives, like cutting grass, with huge amounts of tongue. This lunatic is talking nonsense. Did you lie to me that I haven't seen Daredevil? After Wilson heard this, he felt more and more that the guy in front of him was unreliable. He waved his hand and asked his subordinates to drag him down and deal with it. And when there was no one around, he couldn't help but look bitter. A few days ago, after Bullseye and his younger brothers disappeared, Wilson had no reliable person under his command. Although he still had strong money and power, he was not satisfied with recruiting the desired thugs in a short period of time. Ha ha, no matter who it is, whether it's Target Smoke or Daredevil, you'd better hope not to meet me. Why not, I will let you know the fate of the betrayer. Wilson slammed his fist on the table. Click, there are deep punch marks on this thick panel made of alloy. As the king who established an underground force, Wilson was not only cunning by nature, but his physique also reached a level beyond human beings. That mountain-like physique was not due to excessive obesity, but was made of large muscles. In the anime, he is a man who can arm wrestle with Spider-Man. And because of his outstanding personal strength, he often made fools of Daredevil Matt. Tap 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 tap, the man with the guide stick walked along the street. Just a few days ago, lawyer Matt jointly opened a law firm with his friends. Now he is working on a new case, which is about a joint company accusing employees of stealing funds. According to the information currently available, the probability of overturning this case is not high, but he is still working hard. Have you heard about the weird bloody hunter that appeared recently? Partner Foggy said from the side. Obviously, as Hell's Kitchen messages go viral, it has also gradually spread into daily life. Matt frowned when he heard this, and he said perfunctorily, yes. In the legend, he has sickle-like palms, especially the huge amounts of mouth, which can swallow people in one bite. Foggy kept talking. Matt's expression turned grim. After all, he doesn't want his hard-working image of a righteous vigilante to be subverted. In these days of daily life, due to fighting crime in the nearest few blocks, Matt did not encounter the massacre. Therefore, he naturally associated these rumors with himself. I think so. After all, the bloody demon, haunts the night, fights evil. Doesn't this fit perfectly with his behavior? Lawyer Matt was thinking about whether Daredevil was evil or good, just when he was about to argue with his friends, the New York City Police Department arrived not far away. Let's get down to business first, he thought, and in this dark corner that ordinary people are unaware of. In the center of the house densely covered with red spider silk is a huge amount of cocoon. Crack, the cocoon began to crumble. Then, the blood-red symbiote crawled out, and as its limbs twisted, it synthesized the appearance of the darkened killer. It moved its hands outward, and the two knives became more and more ferocious, and there were also growths on its back. After paring its wings, it looked more and more like an evil ghost crawling out of hell. And between the wings, there are still countless small holes, and wisps of silk threads come out. Even the heavy security door was pierced by the light silk thread. 
not to mention the concrete walls inside the house were becoming scarred. I've become stronger, Slaughter said in a milky voice. Originally, it needed to be attached to others to exert its powerful combat power, but after Li Shu used chakra energy to feed it, it had the opportunity to be reborn. Coupled with the punishment of evildoers for several consecutive days, it accumulated with enough energy, transformation has also occurred. Just when it was full of confidence and ready to report the good news to Li Zong. Clang. Glass shattered. A pitch-black Spider-Man crawled in from outside the wall, his mask removed. When Peter glanced at the carnage in front of him, his eyes showed excitement, I finally found you. And the shoulders of Peter's originally dark suit also twisted and revealed a ferocious human face, and Venom said in response, my son. Meow meow meow. Zahn didn't react when he saw the two strange guys in front of him. But soon, the memories hidden in my mind gradually emerged. It was this black symbiote that gave birth to itself. Then just ignore it, I almost starved myself to death. It wasn't until today that I came to my door. The venom is already strong enough, plus this symbiote daughter, I want to see who else can stop me, not shield, not the butcher, I will lose everything. Take it back. Peter clenched his fists and vented his emotions as if no one else was watching. 2. As he made a huge mess in shield, no one could stop him. The spider demon became contemptuous of everything around him. He thought, if the butcher can be found, he will definitely be able to avenge his shame. This son of the symbiote, looks more powerful than Venom. Let me hug you quickly. Peter glanced around greedily just as he couldn't wait to get, close. Killing, who was originally calm, had a cold look on his face. The sharp hand knife flew up and down, gaining momentum. Finally, he gestured to the Spider-Man in front of him. It's okay to abandon me, but if you dare to be rude to the butcher, then don't even think about leaving. Peter was dumbfounded. Unexpectedly, the son that he and Venom worked so hard to find would have surrendered to the enemy long ago. This made him very angry. You must know that even when facing Captain America and the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he can have the upper hand. Now, he was actually defeated by this symbiote daughter. There was an unknown anger arising from his heart. Peter greeted Venom and said, let us give this ignorant boy a little pain. Good, Venom responded. He and Peter had been together long enough. During this period of time, he had already developed a strong relationship with his host. So what if the massacre was his son? Their symbiote family has no concept of family affection. Some are just, the law of the jungle that grows wildly. If you don't obey, then kill him. Maybe it would be better if he was the only symbiote in the world. Roar, Venom and Peter integrated again and transformed into Dark Spider-Man, and then they pounced towards the blood-red carnage in front of them. Getting closer, just when the sharp claws were about to catch the slaughter. Peter laughed wildly. Suffer death, how dare you refuse my invitation. Die, 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 crack. The imagined scene of disembowelment did not occur. On the contrary, when Peter and Venom were close, Carnage used the wide blade to smash Spider-Man in the face. This move comes with force. As soon as Peter's spider reflex was noticed, he was hit in the face. This heavy blow sent him flying into the sky and then hitting the ground. Crack, Peter stretched out his hand and slapped the ground to steady himself, but when he opened his mouth to spit out, two bloody teeth came out. This massacre showed no mercy at all. This solid blow slapped the spider demon hard in the face. And the massacre was not intense enough, so he said, trash, who only talks trash, trash. This made Peter and Venom very angry. You must know that when they joined forces, even a benchmark figure like Captain America was defeated, but now they are defeated by this fledgling boy. Such a huge awareness made him feel that his self-esteem had been trampled on. Not to mention the Venom, the feeling of being slapped in the face by his son was even stronger than Peter's. Anger, unwilling to do so, all in all. This allowed the spider demon to accumulate strength and launch another attack on the enemy in front of him. Boom, 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 they fight together. Every move burst out with unimaginable power. Let this already severely damaged house become even more shaky. But it's different from Spider-Man crushing Sandman. The current massacre has long been reborn, so what if our parents or our opponents? He had only one thought in his mind, and that was to severely defeat the enemies who despised Master Lee Zon.
also with the blessing of this kind of mind. Slaughter unfolded the wings that were originally folded on his back. The sharp blood-red bone spurs were like sharp knives, cutting the air and further compressing the spider demon's activity space. Although the reaction speed of this spider demon is extremely fast, it is difficult for a clever woman to make a plan without rice. Those huge amounts of wings take up half the room when they are stretched out, not to mention that they are extremely flexible and can hit wherever they point. Fortunately, Peter still had the help of Venom, otherwise, he would have been scratched by the sharp bone spurs. It's so frustrating, Peter felt like he was limited in this fight. If it were someone else, if it were a different place, he can guarantee that he will beat his opponent to pieces. But this massacre is the craziest murderer, and every attack is aimed at his weakest point. He restrained his attacks at every turn. If that's the case, then everyone should stop playing. Peter flicked the spider silk from his wrist and took the initiative to break the situation. As the spider threads connected in the room, even though Slaughter's wings were extremely sharp, they couldn't cut all the cobwebs into pieces for a while. When Peter saw this, he felt even happier. After all, as long as the wings were restrained, it would become easier to deal with the massacre. He kept working hard and turned the room into a pansy cave. Peter shuttled between the spider webs. He stared at the carnage in front of him who was, hurrying to choose a way, to cut off the spider webs. However, for a while, he couldn't cut it clean. He could only be trapped in place, and he felt more and more happy in his heart. After all, the, invincible, spider demon. But the little symbiote daughter will not be defeated. Even if you lose, Peter will also think hard to find a way back. I, am, spider, spider-man, Peter yelled, his hands turning into claws under the venom. The sharp claws pierced the air and almost hit the slaughter's body. It seemed that the symbiote could be dissembled in the next second. But it's hard, Peter's hands stopped in front of the door. The spider demon looked frightened, and he felt as if there was an invisible force restricting his movements. What, what's going on? Just when he couldn't believe it. The venom squirmed, split into half a face and said, it's silk threads. These tiny threads restrict your movements. After Peter heard this, he took a closer look and found that countless tiny threads were mixed in the spider silk, catching his movements and hanging him in the air, like a puppet on strings. Venom, please help me. Peter shouted, but the next second. But Slaughter's mouth was split to the base of his ears, and astonishing sound waves spread out from his mouth. Roar, just for a moment. This drove Venom into madness. After all, his weakness is his fear of high notes. When Peter saw this scene, everyone was dumbfounded. Now he was completely defeated and was being slaughtered like a wretch. Zitza, but Slaughter raised the butcher's knife. The sharp blade glowed. It's like the last boost to end the spider demon. Peter looked even more crazy when he saw this scene. He was not willing to let this end. He still has many missions to complete. How can I be willing? Peter squirmed and looked crazy, like a poor joker. Clang, along with a burst of explosions from the wall, countless cement stones were scattered, and only the familiar battle suit was seen falling from the air. As the steel mask was opened, the familiar face of Tony Stark came into view. When he saw the spider demon Peter being slaughtered and subdued, he was amazed. Buy one, get one free, there is no better deal than this. Iron Man Tony boasted in front of Captain Steve and Director Nick that he would arrest the Spider-Man. But in these two days, satellite surveillance revealed nothing. He hid it too well. If it hadn't been revealed just ten minutes ago, Iron Man will not go to Hell's Kitchen to search, but when he comes to this area, he will blow open the houses with artillery shells. But unexpectedly discovered that there was another symbiote. This is a pie-in-the-sky thing. Tony is not the kind of waste agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Even if he doesn't put much thought into the research on symbionts, he has discovered that it has great prospects. This, thing that can change its shape, hardness and structure at will is rare in the world. Boom, Iron Man released several small missiles again. This isn't the first time he's fought a symbiote. From the previous time, Tony knew that these creatures were afraid of sound and fire. So they unleashed this type of long-range attack. And just when he was confidently waiting for the harvest, he unexpectedly discovered that when the smoke dissipated, only a black Spider-Man was left on the scene, and the red symbiote disappeared without a trace. What's going on? Just when Tony started the scan mode search. 
clang. There was a strange sound coming from the manhole cover at the entrance of the sewer. The red figure disappeared under his eyes. Did he run away? Iron Man was so angry when he saw this that he already regarded these two symbiotes as his own. But I didn't expect that some of the cooked ducks flew away. We must not let this spider demon escape. Iron Man fell from the air and stared at Peter, who was still rolling on the ground, with disdain and contempt in his eyes. After all, they are still inferior mutant creatures. So what if it has great potential? As long as a genius like him discovers a weakness, he can attack it in a targeted manner. Tap tap tap. Among the smoke and dust. Another man wearing a star-striped suit ran out, it was Captain Steve. He ran all the way to Iron Man's side. When he saw that the enemy spider demon he had been thinking about day and night in front of him had been subdued, he was overjoyed. He has not forgotten his death with Director Nick. Every injustice has its owner, and every debt has its owner. He kicked Peter hard in the face. It can be said that things are changing. Peter reluctantly opened his eyes and saw Captain America saying happily. How is it? Is it very comfortable? The expression on his face became very pleasant, as if he had taken some kind of stimulant. Captain Steve reveals a rare dark side deep inside his heart. And this scene also shocked the Iron Man next to him. Tony looked at the man in front of him carefully, as if he wanted to redefine him. You, you, you. Peter barely managed to get a few words out of his mouth, but once again because of the captain's force, half of his mouth was filled with dirt. This is a great humiliation. You must know that just a few days ago, he was showing off triumphantly, slapping shield in the face like a winner, and watching the photos of Captain Steve that humiliated Captain Steve over and over again afterwards, feeling the pleasure of tearing apart justice. But just today, he suffered defeats one after another. First, he was severely beaten by the butcher. Being suppressed by Iron Man and Captain America again. Frustrated, resentment, and, there is nothing we can do. Peter once again exuded despair from the bottom of his heart. He had only experienced this feeling with the butcher before, but he didn't expect that today, these successive misfortunes would also knock him into a state of confusion. He hated himself for being so powerless. I also resent this world even more. Why, you want me to experience all this irreparable pain? Peter struggled feebly, and the venom in his body that was still twitching seemed to sense this emotion and was gradually affected. Tony, thank you very much for capturing this spider demon. After Captain Steve took his foot off Peter's face, he smiled at Iron Man. You may not believe in S.H.I.E.L.D., but you have to believe in Iron Man. Tony said, with an even more open expression on his face. Then let me take this criminal away and detain him. Captain Steve continued. Why should you take him away? This is the person I arrested. Tony retorted. According to the law, you do not have the right to imprison super criminals, but I do. Captain Steve spoke unceremoniously, his face full of righteousness, as if he was announcing something extremely glorious. Hypocritical slogans from politicians. Tony sneered. He didn't believe that the man in front of him wanted to uphold the law. Just in the contact, Tony has seen Captain Steve's dark side. If he gave up this spider demon, he would definitely be fulfilling his selfish desires. How can this be as reliable as doing your own research? After all, his research and inventions are changing the world. What Captain Steve did was undoubtedly a dirty deed under the banner of light. I won't let him go, Tony said, as a billionaire and the smartest genius, he has the ability to be arrogant. Captain Steve was also angered by the retort. In the past, he relied on his charisma and rhetoric. It has always been invincible. But the young boy in front of him is a tough guy who doesn't take soft or hard advice. In this land, only the government can deal with criminals. If anyone could detain criminals without authorization like him, wouldn't the entire society have been in chaos? And even criminals have human rights. Only by enforcing order can the greatest peace be achieved. The atmosphere between the two became more solemn, and the tense atmosphere gradually deepened. Ah, that crazy sound like a beast's roar sounded out of thin air. On the ground, the dark venom continued to differentiate, filling the entire room in a short period of time. Peter, who was in the center, was also wrapped in the venom, synthesizing a huge spider monster that looked like a skeleton. You arrogant fools, I'm Spider-Man. No one can trample on the dignity of a superhero. Ding, a random mission has been detected nearby. 
I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.